Donations, bro. I don't know, bro. All right, let me know if you get anything, all right? That's part all of right. the vegan shit. Huh? <laughs> Is that part of the vegan shit? Yo, no. That's how we start off the podcast. You just coming at me being a <laughs> vegan, my nigga? You just coming at a nigga for being a vegan, my guy? This is why I wanted to play some music like, It's been a long oh. <laughs> time coming. Nah, yo. Yo, it feel good to be back, though. How you feel? How you feel? I'm good. Are we on? I, yeah, we on. Oh, okay. We on, we on, we on. We on. What up? Um, what's good, man? I don't know, I actually man. actually haven't seen you in a fucking minute. Actually, no, you I'm haven't seen me in a long time. Um, Jesus Christ. Damn, bro. I thought, after that so, shoulder injury, I had to get a body there. I don't want to put too much stress on my shoulders anymore, but I started going to the gym and try to lift and work my way back up. Mm. Other than that, I just, I ain't want to go back to that. To that you shit. be jogging? Who? You be jogging? Um, I was doing everything. Cardio, oh, shit, like, all this type of shit, bro. Mm. Trying to get in, stay in shape, man. Mm. But, yo. Salute, man. Back from the high eighties, man. Corey Cash podcast. We back, and I said out. You know what I'm saying? Like I ain't want to do no more corny intros. No more. Um, guessing what we gonna do? No more. Uh, being politically correct. I just wanted to be more unfiltered and stop. Yeah, were we politically correct? I don't know. Don't was know. I? And was was I politically correct? No, I don't think so. Were about what? About what? Issue? I just I, I be trying. I be threading lightly. Like I think I I take. I be walk. I be um walking on tippy toes on certain shit. Nah, I why I dress the head up? You think I dress the head up? I feel like I was being like I don't I don't show my full personality when it gets to talking to certain topics. Only if I'm I guess I'm intoxicated or some shit. Mm. So um I don't know, bro. I be threading lightly, bro. Uh, sound good, man. So you know the pandemic happened. <sighs> what the pandemic changed for niggas, bro? We gotta get right into it. Um, it showed me I was wasting mad money. <laughs> I was spending money on bullshit. <laughs> Yo, you was eating BBQs every day. <laughs> but even that, when we couldn't go out on weekends and shit, it was just like, I'll be having mad money left. Like, damn, I still got this much left every mm-hmm. week. And then you still spend money. Yeah, right? That's but, crazy. But I was spending, we used to spend money on like bullshit, Ubers and shit. Yo, nah, everywhere, bro. Pandemic <laughs> in New York City was nuts. Everything was really closed. Mm-hmm. Niggas had to um the, the eating outside wasn't even fucking open like that yeah, shit wasn't even an right. option. It's just all the restaurants closed down. Niggas had limited like food selections. Um, that would have been a horrible time for me to be a vegan, bro. Yeah, facts. That would have been a horrible time for me to be a vegan. I had to wait that everything open up, but um, damn yeah, pandemic was crazy. So um, is that why you turned into a fucking vegan because of the pandemic? That's a good question. Why did I turn vegan? Yo, it's the same thing. The reason why I stopped eating beef and pork, bro. Like, I was eating uh, uh, um, from Jimbo's. Yeah. Um, I ate, like, a, the reason why I stopped eating beef was I ate a, a hamburger with french fries, and I felt like I had itis and kept getting bloated. And I was like, I'm not fucking with this beef and pork shit. Mm-hmm. Stop that. Then the same shit happened to me with chicken, fish, and um, seafood. I said chicken, said fish, and seafood. Chicken, fish, and turkey. And then I was just like, yo, I'm not. Okay. What I, how I forced myself to become vegan, it was I went and bought the shit. I went and bought the Impossible um, Burger and then the fucking Beyond Meat. Pause. Right. Then I bought it and it was $20. I'm like, shit is expensive. So now I'm forced to eat this shit. Mm-hmm. And then that day on, I just been vegan. <laughs> I, I have to do things like that. Like, I could be like, yo, I'm going to try this vegan shit. I'm going to try this. And never do it. I, I procrastinate. <laughs> but I'm like, let me just buy it. So now I'm forced to eat this shit. And it's just been like that ever since. I seen you posting like vegan like buffalo memes or some shit. I was about to report you. Like, I'm, like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yo, nah, he's dra- like, stop trying to pretend ah! against him. <laughs> you dragging it? <laughs> nah, <laughs> you take the you showing it off. Like, <laughs> it's, like it's good. Like <laughs> it looked nasty for real. It did disgusting. Why it don't look like barbecue chicken nuggets? Nah, that's fucked up. That don't shit. do that to me. <laughs> but I mean, you got to finesse. You got to finesse your meals, man. Jesus Christ. And then they got tofu. Tofu tastes like sponge, bro. Shit is disgusting, bro. <laughs> vegan cheese is disgusting. Yeah, I heard vegan cheese is disgusting. Vegan cheese is only good melted. Like, you know how, you you the type of nigga that opened up the Cracker Barrel. Cracker Barrel. Craft, whatever that shit is called. The cheese sticks. That in the supermarket, I, you open it up and eat the cheese out the package. Niggas uh, look at me like I was man. a heathen because I said I do that. I don't think I've ever done it with Kraft, but I, I eat mad cheese out the package, though. You eat cheese. You don't eat it with crackers, but you ate cheese. Uh, you can't sometimes. do that with vegan cheese. That shit is disgusting. Oh, <laughs> you can't do that with vegan cheese. It be cashews that they made into cheese and shit. Is like anything that. good? Something yeah, them, like... the the um, not trying to be funny. The beyond beyond meat, all their products is good. Like mm-hmm. they got some fucking Italian sausages that taste like pork. Like that, I don't know how mm-hmm. they did it. Shit got the the um pork texture and all of that. Mm-hmm. 
all the um the peppers that's inside the Italian sausage. Yeah. It got all of that. It tastes like a Italian. It tastes like a Italian sausage. It's crazy. I had vegan chicken wings that was valid, bro. Like that has to be honest with you. So it's like I don't know, man. Like, this vegan shit is dope. It's dope. It's mind clarity. Like I feel energetic. I don't get tired of shit no more. I don't get irritated quickly. Meat is making you angry. <laughs> yeah, my nigga. I think eating dead carcasses does have effect on you. <laughs> to piss you off, I thought you meant like more. No, like I fuck with your emotions. Oh, hmm. It causes a chemical imbalance. I feel like it. Shit. That's for everybody, or that's just you specifically. You think it's every? Is it every vegan? Well, is every vegan unbothered? You mean? Mm. I don't know. I never really see angry ve- vegans. <laughs> I know getting sick, I don't get sick. Mm. As far as like, yo, I be having like a sore throat, should be going like two hours. Usually, it, when you eat like dairy, yeah, yeah. mucus just be built up. And be, yo, I feel like shit, it don't happen to me no more. Well, it's only been two weeks, can I really determine? Probably not, yeah. Because it was hot two weeks ago, right? I don't know. Did you get sick at all during the, um, like when shit hit? Pandemic? Yeah. Yeah, I got, I got sick before. No, not crazy. Mm. Probably like a uh, a stiff neck leaving the window open, shit like that, AC, shit like that, but nothing crazy. I know Every time I got a little sick, I would Google the fucking symptoms. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, I'm not that. All right. I was scared to get sick. I was drinking tea every fucking day for no reason. I ain't gonna lie, I was, like, I was bodying the ginger. Mm. Ginger and everything. Every day. Ginger in my cereal. Yes, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> ginger and everything, yes, that bro. Shit, that bro. shit was crazy, bro. Mm. Yo, I, I I ain't even say this. Oh, nah, I don't even want to change the mood, but no. I did lose a cousin in the pandemic due to COVID, and to one of my about. mans got shot from my block during COVID. Yeah, it was a lot of fucking shit. It's a lot of murders, bro. Yeah, I don't know. What the fuck? I, Angry. I, <laughs> Angry. I thought more people would be in the house, but they started going we out. We supposed to have been. That is we supposed to have been. We ain't listening. Mm. We lost Chadwick Boseman. We lost Chadwick Boseman. Yeah, yeah. Rest in peace to Chadwick Boseman, bro. That was right the weekend of my birthday. That was Friday that happened. My birthday was Sunday. That shit fucked up my whole mood. That's crazy, bro. And he, he hit that shit so well, bro, because yeah, he, he didn't want sympathy. He, did oh, he yeah. didn't want sympathy, bro. Mm. He wanted to go out like a warrior, bro, like the man he is. And I respect that. Recipes of Jasper Bozeman. Yo, the, his brother. Yeah, he just, I think he just went remission, to he is remission. Yeah, remission. Yeah, I think he's no good bro, now. His but brother damn, got cancer. Jesus Christ. That's, lo- that's <clears> crazy, bro. <throat> that been, yeah, that been crazy. Yo, his brother looked just like him, son. Mm. That shit is scary, bro. I just I, I just want to inform everybody that's listening. Please take care of yourself, man. Please take care of yourself, bro. Let's work through this. Let's work through this. Let's get through this. And what's crazy is I think the the real wave of COVID is coming right now. Because mm-hmm. that with the yeah, flu? That, yeah, I'm going to say, yeah. I don't know. Just people are just going to be sick. I mean, we'll see. That with the flu yeah, is nuts, bro. That with the flu is OD. That with pneumonia is OD. That like just, that type of mixture is just disgusting and scary. Just bro. check on Atlanta, man. When I tell him, huh? Just gotta check on Atlanta. See what. Oh happens yeah, Atlanta there. open. Yeah, yeah, they throwing well, all type of parties. Right. Twenty one <laughs> Savage. Twenty one Savage. I just spilled all the drink, bro. Damn. Um, I, I, said, I think you're supposed to be less angry. Not remember that was my thing on the podcast. I always spill my drink. <laughs> Remember that been a you thing. eat meat at that time. You be, you <laughs> vegan, Corey, my nigga. <laughs> vegan you cash. Doing this. Vegan cash. Just not gonna soak it up. But yo, um, yeah, Atlanta's wildin', bro. Mm. Atlanta's wildin', bro. Atlanta's losing it, bro. I don't know, bro, what they gonna do, but they need to get it together, bro. Having parties and not and not being in the house is nuts, bro. It's your water right here. So it will, it will hit there first if it, if it comes back, right? Atlanta. Yeah. It would have to go for. I think airport is period, bro. Airport, like why? Yo, and there's a lot of niggas taking these two dollar flights. Like niggas is traveling, <laughs> not quarantining when they come back. Like niggas is going to Tulum, Mexico, and shit like that, and, and not nobody's quarantining when they come back. They go on another trip. Like niggas is not following the rules. Nah, I've been stopped. That's disgusting. I think at this point it's like, yo, we don't know when this is gonna end. So you just like fuck it, I'm gonna have fun anyway. You think so? I think so. That's what niggas think. Yeah, your phone is... St- take your phone out of it. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's like... Yo. Yeah, no, vegan Corey is like mad, man. Nah. Meat vegan. Corey never did that. Pause. So. Yo, don't call it. Don't ever call me Meat Corey, nigga. That's crazy. Don't call me Meat Corey. Carcass eater. Just call me Carcass eater. Oh, uh, so y'all right, look. 
You sent me this fucking post. Oh yeah, my Kiki Palmer. <laughs> Yo, Kiki Palmer's kissing a white man on this, Twitter. This. I had to inform y'all. Yo, but it's not plugged in, Saya. Oh, no. Yo, they don't need to hear it. Oh yeah, they don't need they to hear it. Yeah. It's for me to watch. That. It's for me to watch. Oh, you didn't watch it. I want to watch it again for clarification. Oh. So what? Somebody, so somebody leaked this, and then she responded with this. No, nobody leaked that nigga. She posted it herself. Oh, she posted this. That's on her Twitter. Oh, I thought somebody posted it and she just reposted it. Nah, that's Kiki Palmer that posted it with a chest up. Kiki Palmer. This says, is an African only live stream. <laughs> <laughs> Worth the Dr. Umar, bro. Like, I don't understand what's going on. And I'm only holding her to the standards of dating black men because of the with her stances. Like, the expectation came from what came out her mouth. And for her to be kissing the white man and posting it is crazy. Mm-hmm. If it's true. And maybe it's acting. Maybe it's 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 a um That's a scene. A propaganda move for the movie or some shit to get attention towards her. Oh, but wow, nah, okay. we're not doing there. That. I wouldn't have thought that. I mean she says rare footage of me in the process of becoming randomly suspicious of someone I trust because I struggle with distinguishing reality from crippling my anxiety and emotional trauma. She was kissing him, man, uncomfortable. I mean, she looked like kind of out of it. Like you could kiss a, You could kiss her. I'm not kissing a white woman with no fucking dolphin lips. <laughs> 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 oh, <my God. laughs> I'm not kissing no joint with no dolphin lips, nigga. <laughs> you think you could be in a relationship with a white woman? Um, Like, imagine her trying to cook breakfast for you. Nah, I, it depends. Honestly, honestly, it only depends on music. What type of music she listens to? If she don't listen to like, like if she don't know any old R R and B songs, like a vibe or some shit. That's how far you not even giving her Sam Cooke, nigga. Nah, nah, nah. That's too far back. Nah, like she got she got no hip hop and R and B. She, she got to be like a female Rory. So you just you you with what? What you just said? You wildin', bro. I'm a mean, female Rory. Like, nah, I like, don't ever say a girl. Could, <laughs> don't ever say a girl got to be a female Rory, my nigga. Don't do that. But um, my fault. They could hit me in the back picking up the ice. Um, no, no. She has to. She had no. You, if she don't listen to no hip hop and over, you think you could be with her? I don't want to be with no white girl. Oh, but what about <laughs> cooking? Um, I like to no. It's just something we grew up on. It's something sexy about a black woman cooking. Yeah, seasoning. Yeah, season it. Yeah, that's a big, that's a, a major thing. Like, white people don't season their shit. Yo, white people potato salad be having raisins in it, bro. Oh, they be experimenting. With everything. They don't be experimenting. That's really they, what they put in their fucking potato salad. Nah. Where did you eat a white person's dinner? I never ate white person's dinner, bro. Oh. So how you know? But when you go to Whole Foods, not Whole Foods, when you go to these places, oh, you see. That's there. Huh? That's their shit there? Like well, at Whole Foods and shit like that? Not Whole Foods, but like when you go to places that that are owned by white people, and you see when you go to like airports and like white people supermarkets, you see that their potato salad got raisins in it. You never oh, just, comes a raisin in it. I thought they put it in it. They put it in, and it comes it comes with it as well. Oh shit! Damn, I spilled that whole shit, and that shit is leaking. Leaking where? It's leaking on the floor. Oh, fuck, bro! I don't have nothing. Right. No paper towels to fucking. I guess we make the the podcast more lit. What? I spilling shit? Hey, us? What the fuck is us? Oh, yeah. nah, I'm putting you in there, nigga. Um, yeah, the white people just be putting fucking um weird shit in they shit. They don't season they food. I don't like uncultured. You fucking uncultured swine. <laughs> That's about, I don't know, how the fuck we get to white people? Because <laughs> Kiki Pombla is kissing oh, a right. Neanderthal. I should have fucking. <laughs> she's kissing the fucking devil, <laughs> and she's mad uncomfortable on how she kissing him. You know why she uncomfortable when she kissing that white man? Why? Cause he got little ass lips, so she's trying to. You need some lips. You don't think white? <laughs> you don't think white people got? <laughs> Not Angelina Jolie got nice lips. She got them done. But they look nice. They do look nice, but she got them done to look like. Mm. like it's that. not real. You sure? It's not real. You know why people don't have big lips, bro? Oh, I oh. <laughs> well, when did she do that? She, she came out like that? Who? Angelina Jolie. 
What with, with the big lips? Nah. Hey, like she, after she, she got more famous? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> dolphins even have lips. It's just... Huh? Lips <laughs> is a big thing for me. Lips. You don't like lips on women? Yeah, yeah. Like, is it is it a deal breaker for you? Oh, it depends. Like, a lot of them that smoke weed. <laughs> <laughs> like, it, it depends. Like, if they're using blunts, it look a little... You rather like, like smoke papers? Lips. Yeah, I like big lips, but not if it's like if it's smoked out, nah. Like dark. Yeah, you gotta be pink. Oh God, you could tell you could tell the darkness from smoking though. It can't be that dark. I got you. I'm rolling. Yo, you you would fuck a girl that smoke cigarettes? No. <laughs> not knowing me. Yo, girls with that smoke cigarettes get the best neck. I swear. To God. <laughs> 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 Your dick must smell like cigarettes. You <laughs> 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 have a cigarette dick. I'm like, Why would you want that? <laughs> Yo. Uh... <laughs> Your dick smells like a newborn is funny. <laughs> Looking like she blowing a fucking hookah. <laughs> and niggas be friends. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I'm a crack. Nah, I gotta act. Do I ask him now or do I ask him later? Oh. I wish Chico was here. I was gonna hit him with something. Mm. I had something waiting in the tuck for Chico. I was gonna ask him to eat pussy with his ass in the air. <laughs> like that. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> if I, like one time. One time, right? <laughs> Yo, dog, you don't eat pussy with your ass in the air? That's how you get leverage. <laughs> my jacking it. <laughs> you, you, don't, you don't eat pussy with your ass in the air? Don't lie. Laying down like a sniper. Get the fuck out of here. Let it get solid. You never ate pussy with your ass in the air. No, why is it that in the air? That don't help. Sometimes the bed be like. Nah, nigga, you just taunting. Like, what do you. <laughs> nigga, say <so> you. T- <laughs> <laughs> Niggas say Niggas say Ian pussy with your ass in it is taunting Who the fuck is you taunting? <laughs> oh shit Alright let's get to the shit These topics brother <laughs> Let's get to the shit bro Alright let's get straight to it Corey Alright come on Meg Thee Stallion <laughs> Tory Lanez all right, we, how long are we going to talk about? All right, bro. You want me to tell a story on how I think it happened? I, nah, I don't want to hear that yet. <laughs> All right. I want to hear what you think. Just how, how it's both corny. I think we should just mind our business. They not. They both not being truthful. They're both not being truthful. So you think she's lying about Tory Lane shooting her? I, mean, I can't say lying. Like naming him. That's like a... See, here we go, because black women are going to attack me. They won't. Um, she's not lying about being shot. She's lying about who did it and... And was their intentions to do it? So you don't think Tory did? You think somebody else did it? I think he was struggling over the gun with the Kelsey girl. Hmm. I think I think it was a situation where they was in the car. Meg found out that Tory Lanez fucked Kelsey. She already knew how Meg gave it up when she bopped and drunk, mm-hmm. and Meg stepped to the plate, and then Kelsey, out of fear, grabbed the bodyguard's gun. It was Tory, I think it was... It was oh, Tory Lane's gun or Bodyguard gun, because Bodyguard said it was his gun. I, it, she grabbed the... Kelsey grabbed the gun, like, yo, bitch, you going to back up? And Tory be like, oh, 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 and he's sitting there struggling with her, and then the shit went off, the shit went off and ricocheted and hit Meg. I don't think Tory pulled out a gun and shot Meg, bro, because I don't think he would have shot her in the foot or the back of the... Yo, where she got hit at is just weird, like... How you shoot somebody in the hill? I heard that it like hit the gravel and the gravel hit her um, foot. I believe that. That's what happened. I think it ricocheted and hit her. Yeah. Whatever happened, it ricocheted and hit her. I don't think that his intentions was to, sh- I'm going to shoot this bitch. Like, so you know how you how you feel about the way he's dealing with it? He should have never went live. You don't think he, was, you don't think he should have he dropped the album and never went live? He should have never dropped the album. He should have just went live and then dropped the album. That's what I'm saying. How he went live first? Because my whole thing is that he has never like shown any remorse. He he could have just been like, "Yo, it didn't happen like, um, it didn't happen like that." I agree with you. I think he's showing him remorse because he felt like, I think he thinks, I think he's not taking accountability in the situation because when he was struggling with the gun, maybe Kelsey pulled the trigger. 
So he felt like it wasn't him for real, for real. I'm so so he shouldn't he, apologize. He could have been like, yo, that's not how it happened, but I'm sorry you got hurt. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Oh. Yeah, he never. I don't that's what I'm saying. He even, like, even acknowledged that she got hurt. They're I think that like, he is taking all the rap for it. Like, when it comes to legal issues, I think he's taking the rap for it. You think he's taking the rap for it? He's yeah. Trying to, he's putting, he's giving us reasonable doubt every time he describes the situation. He was like, oh, he said, if he I shot you, how to hit no tendons. Well, how you know I shot you if your back was turned? So it's like, oh, so she did get shot because you said she didn't get shot. So he's like, he keep, he just trying to like just throw. Yo, you know what? You point out a good point. That is, that is hypocritical. That's a great point. So you admit, yeah, you're right. It's like, which one are you picking? Like, is it, did she not get shot? You saying that she didn't get shot? I Wait. think how she portrayed the story is not. But girl, I suppose a girl, she said, if I get into a situation and a shot ricocheted, I'm going to say, nigga, you shot me. I mean, you did. What about your intentions wasn't? But you you pulled a gun. Why you already pulled the gun on me? That's ever it. We don't matter. Like after that, what, what if you struggling like, with somebody with the gun and you get shot? Like if no no, I, I try to go off a bit. I don't like. Damn, this is nasty. But like, let's say me and Chick was struggling with the gun. I went to go grab the gun as uh, I'm angry at you or to protect myself, mm -hmm. right? And then me and Chick was struggling with the gun and boom, and it hit you. Mm -hmm. My intentions was my intentions was to hurt you, but I'm saying if the Chigu intentions was to try to get the gun from me, so it don't, so we don't have a murder scene or anything or the cops. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's like, I'm not mad at Megan for saying that he shot me. But I right, hold on. You, speaking on hypocritical, because you did point out a good point. Ain't it hypocritical to, to protect? She said she was trying to protect Tori, right? Mm -hmm. Why would you want to protect a nigga that blatantly shot you? Maybe she didn't want him to die, cause like if she die from what? When she said that, um, you mean she like the police the, arriving and getting crazy? She was like, she didn't want to tell them there was a gun that it was a gun there because they would have like had a reason to pull out the guns or some shit like that. They pulled out the guns anyway. Yeah, I guess maybe she didn't. I don't know. But yeah, said, like they came. If I'm not mistaken, they all was like this. I feel like if they knew it was a gun, they would have been more willing, aggressive. Like, yeah, they'd have been more aggressive, and she yeah. didn't want that. I think. Nah, niggas shoot. Because remember, they somebody just heard the shots and called the police on them. Then one of the people that lived over there just they heard the shot and they called the police. So he was already responding to a gunfire. Oh, bro, I'm telling you, they both not being truthful. You think he shot Meg? What well, if I sh if I sh go to shoot somebody, I'm not gonna shoot him in the foot. I think my he just shot at her, but maybe shot at her feet if he's angry. Yo, remember like, the first story that came out with this shit? It was him trying to protect her. Yeah, we just assumed it was like shots were fired from Toy's gun. Um, a robber tried to this, rob him. Like, and then it was like, okay. Then, then the glass <laughs> shit came out. That was the second story, mm -hmm. and now this is we at the third. What the f like? They not being truthful, and I just feel like it is. It is. Um, I can't say this is it because niggas not gonna get it. But I'm gonna say what 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 I said. I'm coming in. I'm saying I'm coming to be unfiltered, right? Yeah. When niggas go against labels, bro, shit always happens to them. I think Tori. You huh? think that's the reason? That no, it? no. It's just, I think it's it's it'd be bad luck for niggas. I mean, I think going against label is bad luck. Like your bad your karma is always like bad luck. It's never nothing good. Like Tori been fighting against Interscope and et cetera, and then did randomly in the best year of his life, he owns his masters and all his music. This shit happens. Think of all the people that try to fight the machine. They just so happen to get into some legal issues somehow, some way. Like That's Mike, like, mm. Mike, he in legal issues with saying that he like he was raping and touching yeah. kids. Prince, like if you go, I I'm not trying. Maybe this connects. Maybe this disconnects. No, I, like I that, just find I it, like it is very sense. funny that everybody that fights the machine. Goes through some legal issues or some some type of framing, and it's always something that's so crazy that they almost can't come back from. Like niggas is always gonna crack Mike kid jokes mm -hmm. forever. Niggas is always gonna crack them type of jokes, and Tori can't get out of this one because it's like you know what I'm saying. Like the climate that we in today is super sensitive in regarding male and female, and women is not having it today. So it's like. He and then he's stupid for going live while it's an open case. I mean, so it's like, what are you saying? Because they keep saying they can't say certain things. But then, so what is the point of going live? Because like, niggas want you. You. But my thing yeah. is, 
people have to stop feeling like they owe us the right to tell us the truth. It's not our business what happened, really. Technically. I mean, you just took it to court and then kept it there. Exactly. Because it came out after. So exactly. Just waited. But even everything in court is not always true. Like, I could take the gun case for you. It could be your gun. You know what I'm saying? Even the stories. And this is this is the nasty even part. Even that, that is telling we, us something. We could do it, Huh? Even that is telling us something. So, if that's what I'm trying to say. Like, when, um, what is his name? Cortez won. Little Wayne's manager. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The one that. that was, when Wayne went to jail, that was he was saying that's his gun. Uh, you feel me? And it's like he didn't go to jail. Wayne did. So it's like the truth is just. I don't know. The, but she named him. So I don't know if that can still. We're going to see as the time that's, goes on. That's kind of yeah, I don't know. But I know he's being charged and shit like that. But we're going to see what time go, like when time goes on. What's the real? Well, um, you like her new song that she dropped? No, I don't like nothing. <laughs> you know what song I'm talking about? But you no. said no math ass. No. Wait, no. she did drop the Easy E shit? The Easy shit with Young Thug. No, I never heard it. I got a stink ass walk and something, something, something. After that. No. no, I never heard it. What the fuck is it called? Yo, but you don't fuck. Niggas, niggas came at me on the gram. I like, why every time they drop music is always come around the time some drama happened with her. Is that good? I mean, Marketing? When you, have, when you have attention like that, you're supposed to, you should drop music at that time. But that's not genuine. Is it? I mean... If you a person that is, like loves music, how all the the black consumers love music, and as far as like a lot of the, the music we listen to resonate with us on a deeper level, <clears throat> is it right consciously to drop music when it's like drama around you? Yeah. Or you think this is label shit? Because they labels would think all good all attention is good attention. All press oh, yeah. is good press. So this is a, a revolving around you, Megan. You might as well just drop this joint that you recorded two, three weeks ago. Yeah, maybe then they'd be waiting for times to like drop it at the right time. It's like, all right, well, you already had this here. So then it's like I conjure up a thought like Y'all know this is faking, y'all capitalizing on it. Or y'all know this is really a capitalizing on it. I think Because or. this Either specific situation is it if we really go at it totality it's a DV case right yeah pretty much so it's like why do we feel like we need to um monetize on a DV case why do we bring awareness to DV cases you don't think that's you can do both you shouldn't monetize on a DV case you, I could well, be wrong not, not even, I not, could be wrong case. I could be wrong you, it's her showing. It's also her showing strength, though. It's not just her. Her being showing a victim, what? Like strength, surviving. Okay, I so agree. It's not I agree just with you. Her being a victim. But so should like, you monetize it because you're showing strength? Should money be involved in revolving this issue when this issue is a common issue in our, like, well, a common issue in the world? Like men putting their hands on women. Like, so should you, you make money off telling your story? Should you make money off selling your product during the time when attention is over? On you and involving a DV situation. I feel like you, if you. Could I do think both, this you is should. wrong for us to have the conversation because this should be women. But let's have it. I feel like if you could do both and make money, like why not? It doesn't change. She still look, She still have money without and with this situation. Yeah, but then it don't break a mega. We also like in a pandemic, so it's like a lot of them don't know how to get they don't get money. At this time, so it's like. I don't know. They can't bro. tour and do shows and shit. So, no, you have a point. They got to do. I just find like Meg Thee Stallion, right? Her response to the situation has always been, "Your publicist is writing, and if he keep writing, I'm gonna expose you." I never seen the the publicist write. Where is this at? Where is this? You want to see? Well, I think that you, well, that stuff was coming out in the case. Then I think I feel like well, where is this that. factual? She just said, "I'm not gonna tell. I'm not gonna tell." But then tell. We got things. But like, I don't hold her to. I don't, I don't call it snitching because I don't hold it to the same. She's but a think civilian. about it. Like, what if it comes out that she's lying? You know how much she's risking by like if she lied and sent him to prison. Like how much? Like that no, I think Tori is re- like off the album. Listen to the album. And unfortunately, I did listen to the album. He's he's just being the person to take the blame because it can't go on nobody else. Rod Nation is gonna. <laughs> Boot whatever comes so the way. So two superstars in the car, and then two other people. It can go in nobody. He don't else. have no. He don't really have the type of support Meg got. 
Yes, he does. No, he do not. What, oh, yeah, on a rock like, nation oh, wait, level, like, yeah, yeah like, like on a like, rock yeah. nation level, no, bro. But look, let me make my stance clear. I do not condone shooting women. I do not condone putting hands on women. We really having a legit neutral debate because I think I'm I think because I don't know side sense on it. We both stand on the side of like something's weird about this. Am I right or wrong? Or you just um, automatically due to the fact that a man is attached to this, whether right or wrong, you having a gun in the area. You shouldn't. You shouldn't be in a gun that you. You shouldn't be have a gun in the air, uh, any area that you need. You feel you need to go with a gun. I gotta start from there. Okay, like, got you. I understand. You was going and I respect you in the house with make a stallion. You said, "I right, mean, bring my gun." It's respect. Just, I understand. I don't know. We. You know what I'm saying? Like already, it's like 100%. and that shouldn't have even been in the vicinity. That should have been. That, I agree. So I agree. I can see your perspective on it. But what about the paranoia comes from like your pop smoke bot died in Beverly Hills? I need to have a gun in case niggas. I mean, I feel like if you're gonna go out with a woman or something like that, you should have security. That day, he did. That's the bodyguard that spoke on it too. But then I'm saying, if he was doing his job, that it shouldn't have been no, like how they just could just do that. But a lot of mm, a lot of these bodyguards and bullshit, like they don't they don't de-escalate. They escalate it to me. Sometimes right. think about it, like how many times we've been to like clubs and local clubs and shit like that, and they just they wanted to knock a nigga out that night, and they just. You know At this point, it's like let's let it go to court. See That's what happens fact. after that. That's a fact. I agree. But yo, a lot of music came out. Yes, let's since go. This pandemic shit started. Let's go. Um. Well, recently I listened to I listened to Buster. Yo, no, I don't mean, don't. I, I, I like that album a lot. You want to list the albums or you want to go by one by one? Um, I'm only going to talk about like maybe the the ones that just came out. So can I start with Buster my, album? You can start Buster. Go ahead. Yo, yeah, my nigga. That shit flames. Mm-hmm. That shit flames. And it's like, damn, I think me, me and Saya had the same view of music. That shit flames is weird. While I was listening to it, I said to myself, and you, you had, do you really, you listen to ASAP Ferg? Yeah. ASAP Ferg wants to be Busta if you listen to his music. He know that he's nice at rapping, mm-hmm. but he makes the unorthodox music and it doesn't hit with us. But due to the fact that Busta is known for that, it works with him because that's his original style. And I, for some reason, ASAP Ferg came in my head when I'm listening to the music. I'm like, but ASAP Ferg be wanting to do this, but he can't capitalize on it. You don't think it's working for him? No. I feel like that's literally what his brand is, is that. The the uh, cadence and stuff is just, just on all on all after doctor. Yeah. Yeah, but, but we know he can really rap. It's, nah, Buster just capital. He capitalized on it. The Buster album is like top five albums of the year. Mm. Like no, like strong statement. It is a strong statement. You know why? It's a strong statement in the sense of that I listen to it and I'm like, yo, this is bridge the gap between this drill shit, this lyrical shit, this boom bap shit. And all the other bullshit we don't like, it just, it bridged the gap because it's it's like it's Buster doing what he want to do. Yeah, it's not like a you have a um a label telling the artists, you know, you gotta make music like this. And it's like Buster's just doing what he want to do, and it's like it's be- to me, it's beautiful. The album is just beautiful. The features is beautiful, and it's like he picked the right features for every type of song. You like that Poison song? What Poison song? When he did the, he put the, um. No, I do not. I'm going to keep it true. I do not. No. was garbage. No, I do not. No, I do not. That no. song was garbage. He tried to mix that with Pastor Kavar. The shit with K-Dot, Kendrick. The shit with Rhapsody is hard. Yeah, yeah. The shit by himself is hard. Like, some of the shit's by itself. The Mariah remix is, like, kind of, cool. I think that was a great idea. He, bro, that shit is incredible, bro. So that's your rap album of the year. So no, far. top five albums if we discussing albums oh, like of 2020. A, of yeah. life, I'm talking about like this year. Yes, yeah, 2020. Yeah. Okay, so that's top five for you rap. Yes. Okay. I think I, it's since you spoke about music, I think Benny the Butcher is also up there. Yes, yes. That's rap album. That shit, that shit is amazing. Yo, like, you know what's crazy? Cause Jesus Christ, when you talk crazy. about that, you gotta get Kanye with Conway his points. Of course, he's in. He's That's in that. One, all three one. of them is in that. Yeah, the albums are fire. Like it's mad solid. It's concise. It's short. It's, it's not cons- too fucking long. 
Oh, man. I think Buster does have some fat we could live without. It's a lot. The, 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 the poison shit, like you couple, said, we could live without. He could have achieved, achieved it. No. But the message behind all the music yeah, and like, how he did the, the Chris Rock. Yeah, it's nah. like a Buster Rhymes appreciation. Um, I get it. Yeah, yeah. So that, 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 that's what that verse shit would have helped him, but nobody wanted to see the him and T.I. shit. He, no, but wanted that. I had niggas on my Twitter. I was arguing that Ti beat him like he a smoke this nigga. That's not even you stupid. He yeah, a, that's an insult to even think that. Come yeah, on. Like, been since she's 90, like I'm not. Look, girl, so I'm not gonna go back and forth with you. I just think Ti. Yo, prove it. Man, you crazy? Buster smoke Ti. Nah, he's been back since ninety one. Like, what he on the um? What's the scenario? What's the scenario? <laughs> like, he's on that. Nah, he was but, rapping um, with um. Fuck. He was rapping with um, Q-tip. De La Soul, but Q-tip. De La Soul was in another. I can't forget, forget the fuck. Fuck man, as a rap, as a hip hop corner, so I should never forget their name because they had a big group. Because Queen Latifah was in their shit. These a big group like yeah, they, De La Soul was in that group. He got yeah. a lot of shit, but nah, I'm glad they fixed that with Ti and Young Jeezy. Even though Young Jeezy's gonna smoke him, but yo, all right, you want to be honest? <laughs> nah, that was me being honest. T.I. has the better hits. Jeezy has the better shit that resonate with us. Man. So I was going to say, yeah, like he has the big hit songs, but yeah. if you play Live Your Life, <laughs> and Jeezy could play like Trap Star, and it's like nobody going to want to hear the fucking Live Your Life shit. No, nobody Live Your Life wins. Up. No, hell no. Rihanna, no, yeah. Nobody wants to hear that in a Jeezy versus Nobody wants battle. to hear it, but it wins, bro. No, it won't. It wins. It, it, it also goes with the sequence. Jeezy don't have nothing that could be Live Your Life. I feel like... I feel like in that battle, the same way how Jadakiss and Fabulous was battling, and Jadakiss was beating him with fucking freestyles, and Fabulous got all that commercial shit, none of that shit worked. It's like, it's going to be no, the same Fabulous way. No, Fabulous was fucked up. I could have did Fabulous way better. Yeah, and Jadakiss could have played mad other shit. Fab could have smoked Jadakiss. No, I don't know. Yes. No, that was never going to happen. He didn't play his music right to me. Jeezy <laughs> could have smoked T.I. Mm-hmm. I want to put money up for that, too. I know you're a T.I. fan. No, no, no. I'm a, no, I'm a Bo fan. Yeah, but you challenged me with the big ball shit, so I feel like you already That don't mean I'm a more T.I. fan than G. Come on, I feel, like, I feel like you can't switch. I feel like since you're already T.I., I'll be G. No, I, when yeah. niggas... All right. <clears throat> Ross be popping in with his his shit that light up the the, 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 the charts, but I'll be like, yo, y'all niggas forgot how T.I. was the number one thing at one point. Like, T.I. had a... T.I. had... This is when niggas got fucked up. Like, T.I. might have had the years more as number one, but Jeezy had an impactful year. Jeezy had niggas wearing snowman t-shirts to school. Mm -hmm. They had to ban those t-shirts. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not sleeping on Jeezy ever. I I prefer to listen to Jeezy over T.I. Me too. Absolutely. Yeah. So I'm mean, that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, yeah, you said I'm a T.I. man, but I'm a T.I. man when he going against a nigga that y'all think he can't be because the nigga Rick Ross was more relevant and more active and more had more impression on more feature verses, singles more recently. You don't think Rick Ross would have been a better battle with Fat Joe other than Two Chains? Come on, bro. That 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 battle was stupid. That was a waste of time. That like, it, why it, would you even put it, them together? I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> For T for um Rick Ross and, and Two Chains to have the battle, like they made it quite entertaining for it not it to be for it to be yeah, a landslide. That was a but like, niggas didn't care. Ross didn't pay a lot of he didn't play nothing. He didn't. <laughs> and that Yo, shit was a waste. I ain't gonna lie, Young Jeezy played them damn Jay Z songs. And you got a couple of those. and Drake's Drake easy ones. ones. Man, bro. <laughs> you gonna play that trash ass back like that? Niggas. T.I. got Jay-Z songs too Swag Like Us is trash If you listen to it today it's It is old It did age <laughs> Over <laughs> Dip it with the y'all up with, with the soda That shit garbage nah. Oh Jay-Z got to do is respond with I do With Jay-Z on 3000 I do, I do, I do I know what you're talking That shit is crazy Nah, that fucking Thug Motivations And all of that shit That shit nuts, bro He better not play Orange Juice If he play Orange Juice He lost Who's that? What's that? That's what like Fab and JD hit. Oh, oh, Fab played that song too. And that's when he lost. Like, like, why the fuck would you play? Why would you play that? <laughs> and JD's verse was harder in that song anyway. Why would you play that? <laughs> that wasn't like he didn't play six minutes. Fab played six minutes. Oh uh, no! Nah. Stupid. No. Nah. Right. You feel Snoop Dogg won the DMX one? I don't know how to score that. That was I had DMX one. I ain't gonna lie. I had you DMX got DMX one. Yeah. 
I think we got DMX winning by the simple fact that, like, DMX is not the best lyricist. I mean, DMX. Snoop Dogg's not the best lyricist. <laughs> you know, the way. But, yeah, he's not. He just flows Snoop Dogg with, he flows could really flow. Good. Yeah, like, he flows. And, really and the niggas look at that as simplistic, like. I want to say that. But it just, DMX should be hitting more. Like, when he did slipping. It resonates more. Like, yeah, okay, just, oh, you know I, mean? just like, I got it. I got <laughs> it. I got shit. It's just, like, kind of, like, having fun all the time type shit. So, that the question was, do I have DMX winning? Mm-hmm. I didn't score that. I didn't score it. Yeah, I'll go back and score it if you want me to. Curious. I ain't score it. I enjoyed the more of the seeing favorite. DMX got... healthy. Yeah, yeah and then too. seeing Snoop Dogg. Right. You got any favorites that you that happened so far? Furzes. Mm-hmm. Um. The Timberland and Swiss Beats, like the first, 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 not on <laughs> verses. <laughs> the one they was just calling each other out. Beat, you remember? Actual beat battle one. Yeah, that's when Timberland is supposed to fact that he did. Um, that's your favorite one. Huh? That's one of my favorites. Um, when 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 they did the Just Blaze, the um, all right, one of my friend favorite of the versus actual series. <sighs> the Jamaican one, bro, the fucking Jamaican Beanie Man and uh, Monty Monty Hunter. Monty Killer. Um, Monty Killer. Um, him they, that one. That shit was lit. You gotta name me so because I forgot about something. Um, Lil John T Pain. I, was I ain't favorites. watched. I never watched that. That's, I think that's the most fun to have. Cause they play all of the shit from the thousands, high school and shit. I'm gonna watch that one. I'm gonna go back that and watch. It's crazy. Um, the Teddy, the Teddy Riley Babyface one was mad fun because he the way he, it was mad funny. The and they had to reschedule working. it. Yeah, it was funny. Was funny. Oh, I got that. <laughs> that wasn't my favorite one. Okay. Um, and then. Um, damn, what damn, the Jenny kids one. Um, Brandy and Monica. Brandy, I think Brandy just got an Erica Badu. I wish you have skin Erica Badu, but they did that shit in person. I'm tight, they had to do that shit with the half screen, but it was all right, though. But you couldn't, I couldn't mm, get some of the jokes, even though I had Joe Scott one of that, too. Facts. Mm, um, that's interesting. Yeah, even I love Erica Badu, but Joe Scott. What else is the um, one that I didn't watch the gospel one? I didn't watch Alicia Keys and John Legend, of course. I, I yo, I yo, hold on. I can't stand John Legend. <laughs> yo, I don't know what is it with me personally inside my body, my soul, my eyes. <laughs> I don't like the way John Legend look. I don't like the way what he stand for. I don't like this nigga. <laughs> I don't like John Legend. I can't look at him for too long. <laughs> when did it start? Um. Uh, Ready to go. Ready to go right song? now. That time. Green, the, um, green light. light. Green light, yeah. Green light. I couldn't, can't stand this nigga, man. <laughs> like, all right. When he killed Corvus's, yeah. But I can't stand, like, when John Legend, nah, I can't. When niggas get talking about John, I can't stand this nigga, bro. I don't know what it is. Expecting that, damn. Um, what else? Who else had a versus? Jagged Edge. Um, uh, well. nigga, don't even. I mean, I'm talking about that, that was hard. Bro. I don't know. What I'm talking um, about. Neo. <laughs> oh yeah, Neo. Jante Austin. That was another one of my favorites. Jante Austin smoked him. <laughs> but I gotta watch that battle. one. It was one that's my favorite. You, we just forgetting it, but it it'll come up. It it'll come up. One Yo, one. let me ask you, how you feel about Ty Dolla on album? I got halfway through. I think he was. <laughs> my opinion is that he gave everybody else the fire, and my opinion is that he gave. This was like a playlist to me. It gave me playlist vibes. It didn't give me. It didn't give me the free TZ vibe. Mm. It gave me more of a playlist. It gave me more of a um a demographic that he was trying to please, and he just did that. And it's like it's not more. I think yo, if you ever listen, you listen to Jaded before. Yeah. He's. He, it it sounds like he wrote it. Yeah, yeah he's yeah. the background vocals for it, and it's just more. I would rather that from Ty Dolla Sign yeah, than yeah. anything. He gave me a like a not a party album, not party next door, but a party yeah, album. Yeah, exactly. Like I've turned it on, and from beginning to end, if I'm trying to set the vibes, mm-hmm. women are not gonna not gonna like. They're gonna be happy with that. Yeah, and that's the album he gave me, and I think that's not Ty Dolla Sign at the core. That's just me. What did you how you feel about it? Um, I basically feel the same way. 
because it's like it's just one vibe the whole album and it's like he don't really sing too much except for like this is one song i like with kehlani universe mm-hmm. and then the last song with music soul child and black but it's just like those and the rest of it is just that same la vibe that like chris brown does that same fucking sound mm. i get you and then they tried to remix Tyrone, and that was that all right. Shit was all right. Nah, then you got Big Sean whack ass verse on there. Yo, yo, yo! Now we gotta get to your hate for Big Sean. Why nah, the just, fuck? Here's my thing. Why right. the fuck do you dislike <laughs> Big Sean? I don't dislike Big Sean. Here's my yes, thing, you right. do. All right. I said he can rap, but he just don't. I feel like he don't put out good bodies of work. Let's go back. When was you introduced to Big Sean? When um. I think this was the second finally famous. Okay, thing. so it makes sense. I'm gonna tell you when I was introduced to Big Sean. Man. I was introduced to Big Sean the same time I was introduced to J. Cole, and the same time I was introduced to Wiz Khalifa. And this is 09 or 2010. Yeah, that's the time I'm talking about when he did it. You said what? His first, his second body of work, you said? Yeah, you know Big Sean too, I think it's called. No, that's not a good Big Sean. I got introduced to him finally famous three. Oh, okay, the third one. Right. Yeah, and that's when he was ripping shit. Is the Super Duper flow on that on that one? No, that's before it. That's before it, okay. I know what you're talking about. That's okay. before it. So that's when he got the Lemonade Freestyle. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, my perception of Big Sean is quite different, and what I expect from him is different. You don't, it seemed, you said you view him, so you, he came he, out with J. Big Cole Sean has him. moments when... The people that are bet- bigger superstars in his class, he outshines them to me. Outshines like Drake and Cole? He outshined Kendrick on that a master key verse, that major key verse. The, ke- the the control verse was his shit. Um, I'm, I think what you're saying is a valid point I mean, when he got the shit with the Lil Wayne with the, um, my homie still. Like, mm-hmm. a song like that is wild, goofy. Mm-hmm. So I can understand why you don't like Big Sean. But then it's like Big Sean with Nipsey Hussle and French Montana and Wiz Khalifa. That's, that's a good verse to me from him. Big Sean created the super duper flow that Drake took. Yeah. Big Sean, prior to the... I wouldn't say his first album is good like that. That seems like some some label shit. The second album is is more That's disgusting. Is no, I listen to Hall of I listen to Hall of Fame again. It's actually better than What's I that give song it credit. Nicki Minaj on that album. My I mama have, said or some shit. Or I have no clue. But Big Sean does make cheesy singles. Yeah, I agree. Like, I agree. And it's like he's a lyricist. I see him as like I seen J Cole and Wale and Drake. I don't use Big Sean as a lyricist because I've I've, I've caught on to him as a puncher. But I'm saying he has he has a he, he has lyrical both. moments. He's not on J. Cole and Kendrick level. You don't think so, right? That's why I'm putting him on that level. Either. That's my as a lyricist, no, I don't okay. put him. But as a puncher, he was like one of the innovators. Yes. They still be kind of cheesy for me. I get it. No, it's I like get it. But, serious. but... Who, I'm trying to think of who I think is the same, but... I feel like you discredited him a lot in a lot of areas where he creates a moment. Like, you... Saying what, what, what album we talking about originally? And you saying Big Sean is on something? It's like mad features um, he killed. He killed that that feature. He did good to me. I feel like you picked, but I think song, when you see Big Sean, you already be disgusting, and you still listen to it. I listen because I listen to what you be talking about. It's on, you don't be feeling be what you talking about. So already you are, you going in not feeling the nigga, and then you. I didn't go in that way because I used a big ass. He I was has, a big he fan. He will have to over rap for you to be ex- um, excited or impressed. No, because I like um, what's the song? I like Lucky Me on the album, but that's when he's just rapping. I to it's to just me. a straight, just him straight. I rapping. listen to half Sal on the album, new album. Just half. I can't do the party shit all the time. Like mm-hmm. I can't relate. Like I'm a New York nigga. How much can I relate to LA? Um, it depends on who you listen. If you listen to like YG. Like his first but how, I I never been way. there, so it's like you guys understand like some things like when 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 Meek Mills is talking about coming down Collins Road, I'm coming down Collins. That's Miami, so I've been to Miami before, so I relate and I understand. So you can only relate. So I never been, been to the West Coast at all, so I can't relate to a nigga making West Coast music. I can understand it. I can understand NWA. I can, but so I have to, to be there. So you know what I'm saying? You don't relate to Kendrick Lamar. 
I love Kendrick, but Kendrick is a lyricist. That's just prime New York, New York shit. That's the fucking skill of a New York, like New York rappers. All the rappers that we list that's on the GOAT status, you know what I'm saying? They get that from New York niggas. But he's on the West Coast. You saying you can't, if you can't relate. I can't so. relate to the party. All right. The party LA music. That let me say that. Mm. So that like my like my imagination doesn't take me to our LA party because I've never been in the LA party. Oh. So when Todd Allison drops an album that's LA party ish, it's like this is not whack, but it's not the Todd Allison how I want. Mm. So that's what what I can't relate. At. That's where the disconnect comes from me. We talked about comedy album already. Oh, Conway album is amazing. We said we was yeah. I said we put him up for um album of the year. Okay. Oh yeah. With, um, with Benny, Benny Bush, okay. and Buster. You listen to Queen Niger? I really want to call. Yo, so uh, I've been on Clubhouse lately, <laughs> and Clubhouse they when t- topics of hurt. I mean, topics that you don't want to discuss come up. You say Tave Diggs. And niggas skipped the subject, and I was T-T-Diggs? just gonna, I, yeah, I was just gonna say Tay digs you, but I'm like, nah, I'm, a, I, I, I'm as a nigga that was on popping on Vine, I don't fuck with Queen, I don't fuck with Chris, and I don't fuck with Clarence. Wait, they was, I don't understand, like it was Vine. Queen is married to Clarence, but she was once in a relationship or marriage to Chris. I'm saying, and like her, her whole career has been based around drama, so I can't get into the music. So she do vines of like her. In drama? I think it was pom- popping on Vine for doing, <clears throat> like, couple Vines, if I'm not sure I'm just thinking, and her and Chris. Then I seen them exposed for, like, this. They was doing, like, this phone selling shit, and they got exposed of giving niggas, not giving niggas phones, but saying they're going to send it, because they had, they had get, end up getting followers by being a black couple, and then they end up breaking up because I think Chris cheated or some shit, and now she's with Clarence. And Clarence be wearing a little short shorts and all of this shit. And now they saying he's scamming. And then Queen is with him. And Queen got her body done, and et cetera. And I just so don't when did she start singing? Queen been singing. I don't know. I don't follow them to tell you. Oh. But I just know I don't be interested in Queen's. It's the same for NBA Youngboy. Like, everybody talks about NBA Youngboy to a point that I can't get to the music. Oh. And I'm judgmental to the music, so I don't oh, listen okay. to it. I just don't pay attention. I see what you mean. Okay. I listen to NBA Youngboy, um, OJ. What's the shit by Ho? The OJ song? Yeah, it's called OJ. So, he freestyled off the OJ being, uh, that shit was, that shit was garbage. <laughs> she was mad, like, So, but beat. is Queen Naja, I, would you, you can inform me, I just don't have an opinion on it. No, it was, it was actually really good. It was really good. She has features? Yeah, she had, um. I can't stand her, but. <laughs> you can't stand her. I, I can't like that. No, she has some good features on there. I forgot who's on there, but she got she got some good names on there. Mm-hmm. It was pretty good. Actually. I was surprised. Why are you surprised? I've heard that because I thought she was just like some girl that just looked good and like she on Benny sing. album actually. Yeah, she is on Benny exactly. But that's what I'm saying. I've seen her yeah. a lot since like she first started popping. But up. then the drama falls like the Chris nigga. Yeah, the I didn't know. Boyfriend if it was is like, just... I didn't know if she was like a serious singer or not. But now I believe she's it. not. I don't believe she's a serious singer. No, no, she is now. If you listen to her album now, she sounds okay, amazing. I got you. Like, it's like okay. if I run into something, I'll let you know. Who's that? Oh, actually, I don't know if you. I don't know if you listen to Division, but that's my favorite album that came out this year. The uh, Division. They could have been better than me. I'm using her feelings. That's the best album I heard this year. I start listening to that shit every fucking day. Oh, yeah, I've been mean, I've been meaning to ask you about this shit. I was seeing how you feel about like how celebrities like influence people on social media. It's nasty. I know what you. I think I know what you get into. You've been my friend for quite some time. <laughs> so we talking about the Bergen bag with Sweetie. Yeah, that's ah, one, that's, that's, one, of, them. that's one of them. Um. It's disgusting because it put unrealistic, unrealistic uh, expectation on, on our little civilian relationships. <laughs> what I mean by that is that you, Sweetie, is a superstar that's black. I mean, not superstar. She's a a famous person that's black that's in a relationship with a famous person that's black that's saying, "Oh, you why you working, etc." And it's like, bro, we as we work nine to five jobs, get making <laughs> minimum wage. Like you telling me. My chick coming, you have my chick coming to me like, if you don't buy me a burger, you don't really love me. And it's like, it's unrealistic. 
to me. So you you blame that on the celebrity? Yeah, yeah. The follow no the human beings that follow celebrity and that create create the um expectations on their relationship of involving mm. a celebrity. Like if you don't buy me something, you don't really love me. Like it was, they don't. I think in the celebrity realm, they view themselves as hood niggas that got money. But they don't understand that they trick you down and still a lower class than you. And when they do shit like that, like as far as buying Bergen, he don't really love you or something of that stature. They put unrealistic relationships on our regular relationships. The mm-hmm. relationships that we work nine to fives and we not entertainers and we not making as much money to buy no fucking ten thousand dollar bag to give to our woman. So you know, you think it's more so on them other than the women that are like I don't think that's the intention of putting it out, but I do think that some of them are conscious about what they're putting out, and some of them know that's not realistic. Oh, he don't buy a Birkin, he don't love you. that's bullshit. You know that nigga love you without buying you anything, cause he fuck with you, cause it's consistency, cause he lets you he 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 follow your love language. You feel me? So it's like it's just I don't follow it because it's just be unrealistic because. Now the women is coming to us as regular dudes and saying like, yo, if you don't buy me something, you don't love me. But that's just for the followers. You feel me? So that's just for the women that follow. But they don't understand that is a lot of women that follow. You don't think the women that are in be in relationships with have no responsibility to know like not to follow celebrity couples? They don't have a responsibility. To be like, all right, you know what? I realize she's probably talking to us. I just think us, like, we just categorize our love on other people's love. Like, we set the tones of our love on other people's love. Like, we think, like, Will and Jada doing what they do, and it's like, that's love. But it's like, we don't really know what love is, bro. Like, I I, I had to question myself, like, the other day, it's like, is love is love based on toxic, toxic, being toxic to each other? Like, what is love? Like, it's no real, de- it's nothing really to define love to me, because it's like, is love based on being toxic to each other? Is what you put me through and I accept? Love or is it love because you study my love language and you you wanna or you studying me and you really want to know me and you you um you do anything to to satisfy me and vice versa. Who are you so, talking about? Nothing, bro. Nothing. Like, nobody about in somebody, partic- yes, you are. Like, you, I'm not you getting, you're talking about like, nobody in particular. Fuck, no, I'm not talking about anybody in particular. <laughs> I'm just saying I just had like as a 29 year old, I just had a real drawback on me and it's just like yo, so. When we say we like when we have an ex girlfriend like of a high school etc and and furthermore like is love what she put us through like I really love this I, I she violated but I still like her through this shit I still will give her another chance or is it she made me happy because she actually listens to me and wants to adjust and 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 and, and willing to sacrifice to do the things I like you feel me do you understand do you get me do you understand you follow me I feel like. Um, love is that, but then loving you first, and then then going through all this shit, loving you before. But why do we have to? Why that's my point on why I don't know love because why do we have to go through shit? Like, so we're looking at these couples that've been together for twenty years. Yeah, they've been through shit, but do they purposely put each other through shit? Purposely, like, do I? Yo, I'm happy, so I'm gonna do something that is like that causes a ripple effect, like causes friction between us to see if you depart from me. Like that's what I'm trying to say. I think a lot of our love is a lot of our relationships is built on toxic of being toxic to each other. I don't know if you understand me. Like it's like a woman that's like being in situations where a man is putting his hands on her, and she like he loved me. That's why he doing it. So is love being toxic to each other, or love is being like what is it? Like, like it's, it's no it's no real experience. definition for love. I feel like huh? everybody has a different experience of it. Why is love a different is different for everybody? It should be one thing. Just caring about somebody, really. That's not that's all it really is. So love is just caring about somebody. Really, yeah. But how do we be in these relationships? We care about somebody, but they hurt us, and they know we we care about them, and they care about us the same way. Because I don't think you intend to do that. Shit just happens. Like, but some of these things that we doing that hurt each other is a choice. I mean, I feel like you make a choice. Cheating a is a choice. Like, I mean, yeah. You're not forced to cheat unless you got a gun in your head and it's like, fuck me or so you, you die. So you trying to say, like, it doesn't exist, you basically saying? Like, what? Like, being in love, love, I guess. No, being in love exists, but are we really living or are we really in a relationship where that is official love? Like, because you're saying love, you your definition is saying love is caring about somebody, right? right? So... Women don't understand what men cheat on them. So it's like, you can't say 
to her, you can't say she like yo. You can't say you love me, but you cheated on me. But you can though. They don't want. They just don't want to hear that. You can. But love somebody. Th- and... that's what I'm trying to say. But your I'm expectations, has... your expectations <laughs> of love. If you love me, you only love me. Like you wouldn't do nothing to hurt me. You care about me, so you wouldn't do nothing to hurt me. So you went out and you cheated. But it's like why? Why? That's what I'm trying to say. It's toxicity. You see how okay, you? Okay, I guess I see what you're saying. Yeah, like that sounds incidental. It's not. It's huh? That yeah, sounds like it's, it's just incidental. Like it just happens to be like that. No, I cheating is a choice. Unless a bitch puts you a gun in your head to say "fuck me" or you're not leaving this house. No, I'm just saying that you are. You happen to love somebody and then they end up cheating on you. But you still. Um, and they saying they love you. Do they love you less? Um, no. When they cheat. No. Should we accept that they've cheated? I think it depends on a specific. See, question. that's why my problem with love is yeah. if it's when living by one definite, like we know gravity exists, it's only one way. I drop my phone. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I grab my phone and the phone goes to the floor. That's a fact. That's to show that gravity exists. But when we talk about <laughs> love, it's like it's different situations <laughs> as far as defining love. Where the fuck? Where do you come from with this shit? Yeah, this, 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 <laughs> the, this is vegan, vegan cash. <laughs> this is vegan cash, bro. I'm just telling you. It's just I don't. I, I'm telling you. It's just vegan cash. It's vegan cash, bro. It's, I don't know. It's vegan me. I don't know what it is. I'm you just, don't think about love now, right? No, I do. <laughs> but I'm just be like, what is it? Is it hurting each other and seeing what I'm accept, or is it actually being happy because the person is just into what you like? Like, let's say you be like, mm, I like to be cuddled at night. And it's like the person that they, they not with cuddling at night and they start to do it. You know what I'm saying? Is that love because you're going against what you dislike and you're doing it for the yeah, to that, better? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's, I mean, that sounds like So love. you agree that that's love, right? Yeah. So, but did you agree that also me being fucked up, to, you being it's fucked both. up? <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. That's fucking nuts, bro. The, what is love, nigga? <laughs> you got the best of both spectrums. Like, the fuck is love then, nigga? Like, the fuck is this? This, 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 this fucking image that we got. What the fuck is it? Do it exist? Yo, let me ask you a question <laughs> as a man, right? Do we put the expectations on? No offense. And this is it might be you 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 bought, you know where I'm coming from you know how every place I come from genuinely right do we put the expectations on a woman that we in a relationship with, like we want them to be like our mother and that's when they don't do shit like our mother we don't love them like we don't want to be with them I don't think everybody wants that all right so what I'm trying to say is look Mike Tyson says some real shit he said yo. Your lover wouldn't love you as much as your mother, and your mother wouldn't love you love you like your mother because every, every, every your mother survive. Oh, wait, hold on. Your lover, your your mother wouldn't love you like your lover, and your lover wouldn't love you like your mother because your lover survival is for her. Your mother survival is for you. So I when I heard that I'm like that's some real shit, which means like. You might be like questioning your girlfriend, like, why the fuck you did that? But it's off the survival of her. But you went and question your mother because your mother is like, nigga, I if y'all come in this house and I got kids in here, I'll step in front of the door and take the shots for y'all to live. Because I love y'all that much. But that's what I'm trying to say. So do you think as, guys as, have as, the expectation of women? <laughs> No, I'm just saying as as men, do we put I wouldn't hell no. As men, do we become dissatisfied in relationships because they're not loving us like our mother? Like on, that's only specific to certain people because I mean I didn't grow up with mom. That's so, why I said simple topic for you. you know that's saying? why but, I didn't really want to get into it. So I could say that it doesn't affect me that way. So because I don't even know what that I'm referring to when I So all right, that. so who who's the dom who's the dominant mother figure in your life? I don't have just one. It's just a bunch of people. Mm, okay. Yeah, it's like grandma, aunt, cousins. So. <laughs> so, the way your grandmother loved you, did you put that expectations on women in relationships? No? Hell no. No? No. So, do you recognize that you're, that nobody would love you like grandma? Yeah, I wouldn't want them. I wouldn't want the one I love that way to love but me But we, we do date 
people that resemble our grandmothers and mothers, though. I'm talking about in a serious sense. I like somebody because they do certain things like my mother. They love me like my mother. You know what I'm saying? It's like when we in relationships or my grandmother or my aunt. You know what I'm saying? Whoever you was raised by as a, as a, yeah, that's a woman an, figure. You, you Yeah, it resembles. But in that resemblance, I think we get caught trapped and clouded. Just give me an example of this. Of them doing something like your grandma that you like or some shit you don't like. Oh, breakfast in bed. Like your grandmother <laughs> cooked for the house? She <laughs> want me no breakfast in bed. <laughs> your grandmother cooking for the house? Yeah. So when you meet a girl, you in relationships with her, you be sleeping and she cooking eggs, bacon, and waffles, you like, man, that shit remind me of my grandmother or my mother. So it's like You said breakfast in bed though, that means she's bringing it to you. Yeah. My I'm just, I have a grandmother, so I could relate to you to to extent. <laughs> so I'm just saying my grandmother cook for the probably the whole side of her family. You feel me? But what I'm trying to say is when she, you sleep, you knocked out, and that bacon and that waffles and that eggs is done, you feel me? That's your specific. When a girl, when a black, uh, we day, you day black woman. So when a black woman does it for you, it reminds you of your grandmother, in a sense. You enjoy that feeling of waking up to food because cause of what your grandmother used to do. talking about you specifically, or? Like that's what you're I'm, I'm you, at, that's what no, you no, no, no. <laughs> like, I am talking about me specifically, but I did ask you. Do that remind you when like? Oh um, no, I don't even correlate those, ever. Because you don't look at your mother in a significant other sense. I get it, but she does have some resemblance with your grandmother. You, what about nah. the clothes and comfort about like? What about listening to you? Right, I don't talk to my grandma about shit that I would talk to about with my lover. Oh no, bro. So like for me, no, yeah, yeah I, you do have a be. disconnect. You have a disconnect because there is times where I've been vulnerable. I told my mother shit I wouldn't tell my homies. So it's a disconnect. I understand, right, but, but I understand. Just, a mother and grandma are two different things, though. So you. That's what I, I said. Is it disconnect? Okay, I understand right. where you come. I understand completely where you come. Okay. From. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, what was the original question? Um, you was you went, I forget you talking about love, and then how we get to this? Do you ask something? I was talking about social media influences, influencing the um everybody. Oh yeah, that's love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On, uh, yeah on really also, so then all right, look, Asian doll have wrote um. I like killers, so don't talk to me unless you at least have three bodies, right? Unrealistic <laughs> expectation. Unrealistic. <laughs> like, like, I'm not gonna go kill a nigga to be with you. My thing is, like, cause I feel like she, I feel like she's not saying that, but she knows that niggas is gonna see that and be like, they don't even realize it affects them. What are them. you promoting? You're promoting violence, right? My nigga. Like they're gonna say, "Oh, I want a girl like that." So who the fuck is Asian, dog? So. She's pretty. I don't care. Who the fuck is she? She's pretty. I don't care if she fucking pretty, nigga. Fuck is she to tell a nigga he gotta catch a body to be with her? Bitch, you go to jail. I should fire her. I don't care. <laughs> Bitch, you go to jail. The fuck is she talking about, bro? And this is what I'm trying to say. I don't be getting irritated by these stupid ass celebrities no more. Cause they dumbasses, bro. I call them blue check, blue check blacks. Cause they be having blue checks on a, like Twitter. A black with a blue check. Nah, blue check blacks. <laughs> they be dumb they That's be part of your vegan shit. shit Like thinking like that Huh I said is that part of your vegan shit Like thinking I mean, like I that I just be uh, woke now Yo so I like your questions bro I'm, I went I went to like look up more about like The SARS right. situation mm-hmm. Going on Um, I think it was um A special um, Robbery squad Or something, something like that Say it one more time, run about me. Um, SARS, I think it's like the special armed robbery okay. squad. They hired, <laughs> I don't sound in the form. They hired, uh, uh, like a police, kind of like a police system to to stop like neighborhood uh crime robberies, I think it was robberies in specific. And they took it upon themselves, and the government is giving them the green light to get extra crazy, and they, they're like. You got an iPhone. They categorize. They're being judgmental and pre- they being prejudiced to regular civilians and, and judging them po- upon the materials they have and arrested them and beating them and killing them, and that's disgusting. And so, like the Insars movement is that, and I that's the, the what they doing in Nigeria is disgusting. I don't understand it. You're running up to a random and asking them, do they have an iPhone? And then, um. Killing them and searching them and et cetera. And it's like, what type of time is you on, bro? 
I don't know, but they um they suppressing like all the media outlets out there. That's why everybody is making sure that they um making it making it known and hashtagging it and all that shit. They suppressing the media outlets. Yeah, they Nigeria? don't let them in Algeria. They can't get no media out. That's why they contact all the stars over here to like shed light on it. Or you see like Burning Boy or Devito telling That's them to disgusting. like. That's disgusting. Like that shit. Is why crazy. Africa moving like that? Got to be a white man. I, I don't know. That's not Jeez. natural. That's not natural. It gotta be a white man involved in this shit. And I'm gonna search further. But um, rest in peace and my condolences to people in Nigeria. And I want to bring awareness to the situation. They hired uh like a uh, anti robbery police in Nigeria. I don't want to sound uninformed. Um, it's like a mini police system. And the their government is giving them rights to do what they doing. Which is harassing and misjudging people and killing them because and it's like fuck that shit like the kind of bullshit y'all on and it's these are black cops and black <laughs> black people in this force that's doing it to black people and I'm not with none of that shit mm. at all. That's that's the end of the serious shit, right? Because I had a I had a question actually. No, I don't know if I'm too last. Question, bro. Um, do you have? <laughs> no, actually. Do you ever get like um? You ever like meet a girl and then think they have like like dick size expectations from you? A hundred percent. Like, <laughs> do you feel like pressure? Like, are they expecting? Like, what are they expecting? Do I feel pressure? Yeah, like, cause alright, you know, like for me, like you know, I like a tall guy, right? I feel like a girl is with a tall guy. She's ex- I feel like she's expecting his shit to like be. Uh, no, crazy. you're like, right. Just no. Off the ratio, like you just told. Yeah, no, 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 right, right. No. Especially the skinny nigga <laughs> Right. So now. With them, up, they be assuming that. So now, like guy like me, I'm thinking, all right, what they, what they assuming for me? And I was, I don't think they have any expectation for me. Like I think I'm free of that. Yeah, I think that women, like after my sur- surveys and questions with women, <laughs> you surveying about dick sizes. Come on, bro. <laughs> Why are you doing this, bro? Why are you doing this? Um, after my survey, I guess it's just how you talk, like. You talk, I'm gonna bust your ass. Like, then they expect you to have a horse. Okay, got you. Okay. But if you keeping it quiet, you like, mm, yeah, big, big energy. <laughs> I'm chilling. What? You wanna fuck? Okay, got you. And you bust that shit, it's like, that's it. No, but it ain't no pressure for me because I, because it's like, yo, you know what it is? I think we be thinking about the things women don't think about. Like, they be fucking the niggas that they told you they, they not attracted to. Like, all right. I mean, you are the nigga they not tried to do. What I mean by that is like a girl might come and pull up on you and be like, I ain't gonna lie, I like tall, light skinned niggas, da da da, et cetera. But she still will fuck you. Right. Like she still <laughs> fuck you that same night. And you like, yo, but I'm not a tall, light skinned nigga. <laughs> yeah. What did she do? But well, once you busting that shit, you busting that shit. Yo, I was just thinking to myself, this might be crazy, crazy. But that shit be false. Like all that shit that they like. I don't like light skinned niggas. It be girls that I Fuck that. Told me straight up they don't like light skinned niggas. <laughs> and it's just be like, y'all be calling me back. Y'all be FaceTiming me. Y'all, I be a casual hitter. I be hitting your shit. I be busting your shit. And it's like, you didn't expect me to. But me, from it, from my standpoint, is they don't expect com- funny niggas to be busting their shit. And I be busting their shit. So it's different <laughs> for me. And then I'm short. I'm not a tall nigga. I'm like five, seven and a half. So when you tell me this, I don't like light skin nigga. You like dark skin nigga shit because they present the type of energy. But it just be like, when we get to the crib, you owe my body. And it's like, what do you tell me what you like? physically like? But I'm sitting here, I'm in you. Maybe that's part of the flirting. They just lie to you into your face. Yo, I think that's a part <laughs> of their flirting. No, I, I, at this point, I think there's a part of their flirting. Trying to make and you women, feel bad real quick. Y'all have a, yo, bro, I had a girl do a whole dick estimate. She called it a uh 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 a Esther dick. That's what she called it. A Esther dick. She's like, I was I ain't gonna lie, I did everything to you. I looked at your feet size. She I objectified looked, you. She yeah, she's I looked at your feet size. I I walked by you when you had sweats on. I like I did an Esther dick, and that's not what I was expecting. I did everything I could do to estimate the size. And I could it just failed with you. And it's just like, I know. <laughs> fuck is you talking about bro i know the fuck is you talking about like me personally i'm not gonna talk about sex with a girl I'm, yeah i'm gonna suck it da, 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 da. they be talking crazy all right bro you get into the crib they can't dethrow they complain about you shoving their head down too low like they 
<laughs> so I know what I'm saying. He laughing because <laughs> I'm telling the truth. That Esther Dick, yo, all these expectations y'all got on the short niggas, it don't, y'all be still fucking short niggas. I ain't fuck, I ain't seen you fucking athlete yet. And me and you having, and having vulnerable and honest conversations. You ain't tell me about, yo, bro, I got women friends that PJ Tucker slid in their DMs. This nigga's an NBA player. He like 6'8". But you, you know what I'm saying? Like, you ain't shoot for him yet. Why? Because you still know that short niggas, it could come in all sizes. It could be, you could be tall and had a shrimp. You could be small and had a, the, the, the horse is pause, but it is what it is. Y'all can't guess it and y'all be trying to guess it and it don't work. And, and niggas, and it's all about the motion in the ocean. So if, even if niggas is coming up short to you, your expectations, once I put that motion in the ocean, it's over. Once I'm worried about you catching an orgasm more than me, nothing, it's over. I'm getting to I'm getting to you. I'm getting in that soul. I'm getting in that vagina. And you, it is what it is, bro. It's vegan energy, man. But now, it's not vegan that's... energy. It's, it's a lot of them. They fronting. And like niggas say, they be capping, bro. I don't, I don't use capping. The nigga, they be capping. They be capping on the gram. They be capping. Like, how you don't like light-skinned niggas and I'm in your house? <laughs> Every post you get, light skin niggas is just feminine. This is how light skin niggas sleep. I'm in your house <laughs> with an opportunity to splash. And you, what do you? So I'm, I'm never discouraged or feel disrespected by these posts. I just be like, I'm, I was in your house last night. We was watching Walking Dead, or we was watching Game of Thrones, or we was watching a certain like show. I'm in your house. If I, you ain't like light skin niggas, I wouldn't get that far. That means like to me, and it might, and yeah, I mean, it might be subjective. I have an opportunity to splash or get to you, get to you in an intimate level, but I'm still being respectful and chilling. Oh, you want to go there? Let's go there. I'm gonna splash your lights out and have you think about it. Have you go <laughs> home with those thoughts, and that's just it. Like they be trying to make niggas feel bad. Like, nah, I'm a short nigga. I so don't that should be hurting you when you see that shit. Like, no, no, no. With light skin posing, never hurt me. I know they be oh. fine. I could splash. I could splash because of the confidence of me, and I'm not. Pre- I know, like when they be talking that shit, I just was with you. You ain't had nothing you to say about it. on it? Like when they write it, when they post it? Huh? You comment on it when they post it? Nah. No? I let it ride because that's their preference of what they like. It's just you know, like, at least like it? Just double tap? Nah, I don't even double tap. I just be sitting there like, you you fronting. <laughs> you fronting. Like, I know you fronting. So we going to keep that between me and you. Me and you know you front. So it is what it is, big time. Yo, what was that you was telling me about, Um, I think, skinny, light skinned woman with curly hair? Oh, we got it. <laughs> you wanted to get in that bag so bad. You couldn't <laughs> wait. <laughs> yo, I'm not like the, 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 the yo, listen. I, my preference is dark skin, is darker skin women, but I, I tried dating the light, the light skin women and tried doing it. I don't know what it is. I guess it's light skin on light skin, so it doesn't work because of the who going to play who first. And I'm having a problem with this shit because it's like, y'all, try to front like y'all nonchalant when it comes to our interactions. And it's just, I'm not doing good with that because y'all always have a, a plan B and y'all, y'all force, y'all put me in a position to force up as plan A. So you can fuck with your plan B and you can show me your plan B. And you can show me that your plan B loves you more or likes you more. And it's just like, I be done with it. And it's like, all of y'all are toxic. Y'all don't want to go to therapy. And I be telling you, like, yo, I ain't gonna lie, you got some issues. You know why you got, you know why light skinned women be having issues with the curly hair? Tell me. <laughs> because idealistically, they look European and niggas, they feel like niggas gravitated some more. So, I, and they had, they are bad. I'm bad. I'm bad. I'm the baddest bitch he ever had. And then the niggas still cheat. So they be so insecure. Like, women don't understand. Like, y'all can never crack the code on why a nigga cheat. Nigga gonna cheat on anything. A nigga gonna cheat if a girl is 10 for 10. In every department, like her breath don't stink, her ass is fat, she got nice size titties of what you want. We could build a bitch. We could build a bitch. Like go to build a bitch and build a bitch. And to our liking, it's still cheap. With a bitch that don't look better than her. And it's like increasing the insecurity in women. They be like, yo. So what light skinned women, especially but from I mean, why them, do we do that though? Huh? Why do we do that though? Cheat on like a 10 for 10 and everything. Because it'd be for the pleasure of flesh. Damn, That'd be temporary. Like, like, like your girl might not get the best head, but then this, this, this one that live in the projects, 
It's neck and OD. And you ain't got to ask for it. All you're doing is coming. is like I had a long day and pulling down your pants. And she's necking you, OD. So it be for the pleasure of flesh. It be temporary, bro. To be honest with you. But the light-skinned woman with the curly hair, y'all are, um, y'all feel like y'all bad. And which is not wrong. Y'all are beautiful women because y'all are black women. And then it's to be like, why niggas cheat on me? Y'all end up getting to going insane. Like, yo, I look good. How the fuck is this nigga? It can't be me. And it dad eyes don't be you. It just be niggas. And it's like, <laughs> I'm not fucking with y'all no more because y'all end up turning crazy. And y'all end up doing other shit. And y'all always have a backup plan. Y'all always have the plan B, nigga. And I'm not doing that no more because with light skin on light skin, it's like we always battling with the plan Bs. We waiting to violate each other so we go to the plan Bs. And I'm just not doing it no more. It just, that's my experience with it. And it's like, I can name more different Situations of how light skinned women had did. <clears throat> Can't even I help. felt did me dirty, bro. I'm Can gonna come clean. I'm gonna be vulnerable. So a joint, I can't put a name out there. A joint was dealing with out there. a joint that I know was dealing with Shiggy before me. Mm-hmm. So she's light skinned, right? So <laughs> we end up having a falling out, and immediately she went to a Plan B, and immediately she told me Shiggy more funny than you anyway. I'm like, yo, you could never play the guard. Like, <laughs> I was in there. Like, no, not only was I in there, I was in there consensual. You wanted to bone me multiple times. Don't ever tell me Shiggy more funny than me like it's going to hurt my feelings. I'm in there like swimwear. <laughs> you can't do that to me. You can't, wh- What do you mean? Why are you going to that? Yeah, yeah, I'm fucking with this Chinese nigga. I don't care. He ain't me. But that's the thing with light-skinned women. I light-skinned people, period. And I don't like that because why are we doing that to each other? Why are we waiting to see who we'll play each other first? Why are we going to instances where we really like people and we doing that? That's toxic. And I don't want to exist in that When world. did this happen to you? This happened to me on multiple occasions. Then when the last time this happened to you? Sounds fresh. Two years ago, a year ago, oh, oh, three recent. years ago. Oh, you was a light skins recently. I'm fed with you. Yeah, I date all black women. And they just, they, it's just mm. be that battle, bro. That battle is just unnecessary for me. I'm almost thirty. Oh, wow. Yeah, like it's just, I'm not doing that, bro. I'm not doing that shit no more, bro. And it's not like, oh, when I see a light skin woman, she not attractive. I'm not. Gonna, no, I love all the women, all shades. But I'm gonna let it be known how I feel about us. It's a light skin woman, like yo, listen, this is how I feel about us. This is how we be living. It's strange. It's weird. It's fucked up. How you feel about it? And we gonna talk about it, and we if we talk about it, we come to understand it. We can do it. So we like can do the damn meeting. thing, huh? Like a light skin meeting. <laughs> yeah, light skin <skinned> executive meeting. <laughs> that eyes like I had a regular label. <laughs> that eyes, bro. Can't do it no more, bro. I can't. I just feel like the darker skin women have been more reasonable with me because they don't have that that ego thing. Because a lot of these dark skin women are bl- uh, blossoming from high school, like. They finding themselves. They just start feeling themselves, and it's not. It's nothing wrong with that because they've been treated, mistreated during high school because dark skin wasn't like represented right or appreciated. So like they have a different perspective on like because they grew up <clears throat> with women. I mean, women, women and men talking shit about them. So they have a different perspective on life. And when you meet them, they like wow, humble, and it's like, yo, I ain't gonna lie. I'm new to this like light skin men liking me. I'm new to men <laughs> being attracted to me, and this you get to have that vulnerable conversation compared to light skin women. They will glorify it in high school. And this is like, they always have the niggas on them, but they don't understand why niggas, they go crazy. Life's going to be crazy because they don't, they think, they still think white is ideal and they're the closest to white. And they be like, nigga, I look the best and niggas still cheat on them. And they don't understand it. And that's what makes them go crazy. They don't understand it. They don't understand the concept of niggas is just going, it don't matter if you are 10 for 10 or 10.5, niggas is just going to cheat. They don't understand that. And that's what makes them go crazy and start doing crazy shit like, Yo, I'm going to check this nigga phone. I'm going to do this. And just be like, tired of that, bro. Not all light-skinned women, but... I'm going to say, I feel like you don't think that's just your specific, your specific situation. <laughs> My situations yeah. with light-skinned women? It could be. Like... <laughs> it could be. It could be. But they all tell me crazy stories they done did to niggas. And they be like, yo, what? They be feeling like, wow, I got to... It's the privilege. It's the, it's the more of the privilege than it looks like. Yo, I, I shouldn't even have to go to the extremes to prove that he ain't. They don't understand it, bro. They don't under, They really don't understand it. They don't. Both sides. Both sides, when I mean dark skin women don't understand my men, she and men, uh, 
and we fucked up as individuals because we don't let them know why. Like, yo, it ain't even you. It's just me being a dog. We just be doing it. What about like nerds? Like, I I I've been in relationships nerds. with nerds. Yeah. What is nerds? Hold on. Um, like girls that's an anime. Nah. What's nerd? School driven girls. Which like, I, I don't know. Let's think about think about like back in high school, what a nerd girl would, would be because I feel like a nerd girl now. Glasses. Like sexy. There's a lot of anime. She watched Dragon Ball Z a little bit. She know a lot about Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. But she hang with the dudes a little bit because she relates to it. She's just written the anime world. Nerds would be the anime world. Yeah. In high school. Yeah. Dragon Ball Z. Yes. Okay, I, I guess so. Yeah. Like the ones that just don't they like they don't dress to like. Impress men. Wear glasses. What about the what I date them? Um, like I was gonna ask you, do you think they like they're freaky? Hell like, yeah! They, <laughs> they can't wait for a nigga with a with <laughs> with aggressive to just crack that shell open sometimes, bro. Little nerd ass, you being old and that shy and nice, like they be one authority. They they. They used to the equal level playing field of the the, the nerd dude be like, so you want to have sex? You want to try this? <laughs> Compared to the hood nigga, like, yo, I got this. <laughs> Pull his fucking tracker pants down and just like, yo, so what's up? What you want to do tonight? They not used to that. It's just the approach. The approach they not used to. And that's, they don't be knowing like the nerd, they don't be knowing like um their turn-offs and turn-offs yet because it, It'd be a respect level, but when is it like... I can't say being aggressive is a disrespectful level because some of the women like to be disrespected. Yo, a lot of these women just want to be fucked disrespectfully. Yo, I, yo, I gotta ask you... No, when I, speak, when I speak disrespectfully, I don't mean spit it. Some girls yeah, do like... Spit. like you, <laughs> okay. A lot of women like to get fucked disrespectfully. I don't know if you've been noticing that. So, like, let me ask you a question. You're in a relationship. Can you fuck your girl disrespectfully? Like, what I mean by disrespectfully is, like, grabbing her by her neck, like, slutting her out. Yeah. Like... You could do that to your girlfriend? Yes. The fuck out. I can't do this to my girlfriend. <laughs> what? I could choke my girlfriend, but I, you don't be, like, fucking her disrespectfully? Yeah, like. Like, if she wanted to spit in her mouth, you want to, you could do that to your girlfriend? Mm-hmm. Slapping her? Yeah. You could slap your girlfriend? Slap the shit out of her. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, like you could slide out your girlfriend. Yeah, yeah. I can't. Yeah, I will, I will want my to, respect so level won't to. take me there. I'm gonna suck my toes. Like, I think that's where the respect, the respect stop right there. Like I respect you too much. Like don't suck the toes. You let a white girl suck your toes? Yeah. <laughs> I will let a white girl suck my toes. Made me feel like a king. Like suck my toes, you white bitch. <laughs> but that's just me. I could be wrong. <laughs> I'm just saying. I don't want a little black woman suck my toes. Yeah, but, but if that's yeah. your interest, go ahead and do it. But mm. I will, if I had to pick out of a lineup, and they said, Corey, you can get your toes toe sucked by any woman <laughs> in this lineup, <laughs> I'd be like, white woman, yeah, <laughs> fact. I think they probably. Would. I can't slide out my girlfriend. Why? Is that because the the mother thingy? No. Like, why? Cause I like when you single, you fuck bitches different. Am I fucking? You fuck different than you fuck in a relationship than than, than you single. No, I'm wrong. You specifically, not males. Um. Yeah, I, I do. Who you fuck the dirtiest? Um. But it depends. On, but usually, when I'm when I'm single. You fuck the dirtiest, right? Yeah. So I still had that concept. Like in my relationship, I had some respect sexually. My, so I'm you want you might not give the single joint your slow stroke, right? But honestly, because I don't know, I know I'm, if I know I'm not gonna see him again, I give him like the the best shit ever, and then it disappear. So then I'm like, hold on to that, hold on, hold on to that memory. <laughs> like I wait till I do it the best time. I'm like, All right, now you I'm ever had go. a bitch block you after good dick? Um. Yes. yes. Actually, yes. That's scary, right? <laughs> yeah. They don't understand that that's scary. And it's, it's funny because like they'll hit you. It's not they'll, funny. They'll no, it's not. It's not funny. Unlock you and hit Cause, you back bitch, up. I'm ready to go to get a checkup. Like, cause you, if you gave me something, like, why are you just oh, in your bed? Like, <laughs> my, my, yo, I think the perfect <laughs> word for me is extremist. I wasn't thinking of him in a negative way. I think I'm an extremist. 
Like, what do you gave me, bro? Because you blocked me, like, and I can't contact you to find out if you got something. I'm an extremist. <laughs> I told you, Sai, I'm coming with a new energy on the I podcast. thought it was, was that. Serious. I thought it was that, yo, I'm, it was so good that now <laughs> I'm I'm scared of who, you might, who else you might be fucking like this. Let me block him because I'm mad at him. I thought you meant like that. That's the situation. No, I'm that is the case with them. <laughs> with the women, that is the case. I just be thinking like, all right. Like, I don't get a kick out of it. Like, you mm. blocking me after I gave you good dick. I don't get a kick out of it. It's more of it had me worry. Like, what the fuck I do wrong? Like, you was moaning. You came. You squirted. Like, what the fuck is going on with you? So, yeah. like, But I can't slide out my girlfriend. What if she asked for that? You, you would do it, though. Because then... I think this is when they drunk. This is when they be sliding out. Like, if your girl is drunk, you just got to rob it. <laughs> Yo, no funny shit. No, I can't say that. <laughs> what? You could, like, shove your girl head down your, like, down your, like, when she's nagging you, you could, like, shove her shit down your dick and make her, like, throw up and gag. I can't do that to my girlfriend. I could do that while I'm single. I don't even want that. Like, <laughs> Oh, you don't like that. You don't like that. I do. <laughs> I'm a, I guess it's a dominant thing. I don't know. Oh, you... <laughs> I don't want you to throw up, but I want you to be like, I can't do this. Like, hold on to their life. Like, yes, make it, make yes. It. <laughs> that turns me on, yes. <laughs> like, I'd be seconds away from death. There we go. That's yes, it. if you're so away like... from death, that, yeah, 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 there we go. I got to search what that is. I don't Jesus know what that Christ. is. <laughs> <laughs> so Yo, it's like, been times when girls threw up, like. and I'm, you, Oh, Jesus Christ. Not on me. Oh, I'm going to say, like, come on. Not on me. Respect your dick. Yeah, I respect my dick, but they, it, yo, we get on attention. But it's times when girls do up, and I just be like, I don't make it awkward for them. I mean, like, you just look away like it's not there? Like, nah, just clean it up real quick. Cool. I clean it up casually, like, you ain't back. yo, hold on. <laughs> and I go get the, and then I get right back you to it. it at, you don't adjust it at all? Huh? You don't adjust the door? Nah, because it makes them feel uncomfortable. <laughs> they, they, they know they just threw up, or they just had a spat. I guess what else is going on. <laughs> <laughs> Yo What are the topics you got? Man, I got some more questions Yo, I got mad shit But I don't know how we gonna cover in 15 minutes Okay Um Yo, one more Yo, I hate when you holler Like I, I hate when you holler at a joint And then they be like You too young Like Like Their their age gonna freeze And I'm gonna catch up Like <laughs> <laughs> So basically I was just like I was just wondering Like it was a lady that worked in my school system, and I was just like, yo, you wouldn't date me? She's randomly asking. She's like, nah, you're too young for me. But you're saying it as if time is going to freeze. They're going to put you in the freezer box. You're going to remain the same age, and I'm going to catch up to you. And then we can date once once we connect. And it's like, I don't like that with older joints. Stop telling me I'm too young. Just don't don't be interested in the conversation at all. Don't. In, don't. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you're saying they shouldn't even answer? Yeah, don't answer. Just don't oh, even okay. answer. Like, bro, we never gonna, we never going to catch up. We never going to butt heads in, in ages. You always gonna be eight years. It's always gonna be eight years. Like so, was she just like not off? Like mm. I don't know. I have <laughs> to my ex, with that. Move. Like stop telling me I'm too young. <laughs> I would do it, but I'm you too young. But don't tell me you would. <laughs> just tell me nah. It's like false advertisement. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Super false advertisement, bro. It's like going to Adidas store. They got the same got the Yeezys at this specific store, and you go to the store, they don't got it. Yeah. We sold out in your size. <laughs> Like, what the fuck am I coming over here for? That was something. Um, I don't like that. Uh, um, <laughs> the side is going to relate to this one. Bitches adding you to their close friends, they not showing nothing that's explicit. Like, yeah. you see a whole green circle, and you go click the green circle, and it ain't nothing explicit. Yeah, man, like, with that fam, like, you got to show the foul <laughs> shit in the green circle. Yeah, Yo, man. and then, hold on, I'm not even cool with you like that. Like, we had one conversation, and then your, your close friends. Why are you adding me to your close yeah, friends? You ain't even showing, like, yo, like, like I could accept you show a twerk video in the yeah, close yeah, friends. Yeah, like, you ain't even showing, like, you trying to deep throw a lollipop, and you couldn't get it there or something. Like, you not even showing that. You just showing you smoking a blunt. And you only doing it because you work in school educational system. So you can't put that you smoking out there. But don't add me to the close friends for that. I already know you smoke. I don't need to watch you smoke. 
<laughs> like what the fuck is wrong? Yo, what's up with them? And they don't even ask for permission. I had one. Co- First yeah, of all, most <laughs> don't add me to your close friends. I'm trying to fuck you. Why are you doing that? I'm not your close <laughs> friend, bro. I'm trying to be your closer friend. Like I'm not even like, what are you doing? What's up with that? Yeah, I don't know. That shit's weird. There's definitely a lot of that. People like you know, I'm know. trying to bone. You gonna add me to your close <laughs> friends? I don't want to see it. I don't want to see you being seductive. Like what the fuck is wrong with you? I don't like that, bro. They, I'm like, y'all don't even make a nigga, make a nigga sign a petition for that. Y'all just throw niggas in your close friend y'all trust. Y'all just lucky I'm not a snitch. I would never snitch on y'all. Cause a lot of y'all got great jobs and et cetera. But like, damn, so I don't mean close friends without no permission, my nigga. Like, you ain't ask. <laughs> you ain't say, yo, Corey, I got the close friends coming up. You in it. All right, my nigga, okay. But it's like, you ain't even doing that in your close friend. You just showing that you out smoking hookah. Don't put hookah in your close friends, what about, my nigga. Um, OnlyFans, how you feel about that? Would I date a girl got OnlyFans on? No. No. Are you subscribed? Yo, yeah, I am subscribed. And my thing is, I can't get money to none of the shit I'm subscribed to. What you mean? Get money? I mean, jerking off. Like, Are you saying that? I'm subscribed to a whole bunch of people. A whole bunch of people that I, mean, I can't get money, so I just try to support. I look at the videos, <laughs> and I can't <laughs> jerk off to you. You're not providing me content <laughs> that's jerk off worthy. You're like, you're showing me immature acts on the fucking, <laughs> yeah, pay $15 to unlock. <laughs> Bitch, don't, yo, I subscribe to Amber Rose. She got a nerve to send it. <laughs> she wanted to make niggas feel special. She sent a voice note to every nigga that follow yeah. her. Yeah, like, baby, if you put $15 in here, I take over everything. Like, Amber Rose, I don't, I don't like, why they make the, I hate that they make the messages just so personal. Like, I feel like they're really talking to you, but you know they send it to everybody else. It's like, damn. Yo, they need to stop that. The right. message, them private messages on fucking OnlyFans is annoying because this ain't even dedicated to me. Bro. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> make wanna... me feel special. Like, say Corey in it. <laughs> yeah, like, well, they can't use your name. Yeah, use, that would, use yeah, yeah turn me on. Use that, my like, name, Corey. Corey, if you buy this, <laughs> like you ain't even doing that. You just in here. Yeah, hey, don't worry, don't worry, Poppy. <laughs> Bitch, that's general. That could apply to all niggas. Don't call me. Don't call me Poppy with these other niggas. Make me feel special. Single me out. <laughs> the fuck is wrong, yo? Nah, I can't do it, bro. Wait, did Jordan Woods really have one? I don't know. Did I, she? I seen that she announced it. I, I couldn't find it though. Lisa Ray had one, I think. Yeah. You subscribe to it? I'm not yet. I'm waiting for it because um, I'm waiting to see if she posts something and then I'm gonna follow her. So if you oh you can go to the page. Post. You can see that. Yeah, if she posts and I ain't not, she not ain't post nothing. Not yet. I'm waiting. So if she does. I was I got subscribed to Amber Rose, a couple of other like hood shits and it's just be like yeah, I got mad hood shits. Like most of it's on Twitter. Twitter is like porn on my fucking feed. My feed is disgusting. You don't have a separate Twitter? Um, no, I just got this one. So you could be out in the public and a porn just pop on your someone. No, like I, I follow people that, <laughs> I follow people that do the porn. <laughs> you don't be on Twitter that much, so it doesn't matter. I mean pop just on. to look at that shit, basically. Okay, I get it. It's, it's just mad people just posting porn. Okay. Cause I guess you can't do it on Instagram. So they bring it to Twitter. But how yeah. yo, how yo, I got vi- like I can't go live to November second for for saying eighth, but Oh, they be Giovanni saying. be sucking dick on, on fucking OnlyFans on Instagram and she could post. I can't say eighth, but a girl that we work at H&M with has an OnlyFans. She be sucking dick on a timeline and on a story and she posts. And they never hit her with violation. She did that shit multiple times. They hitting me up and saying you can't go live. <laughs> What the fuck are we talking about, bro? <laughs> Did they say that specifically because of the eighth thing? I, yes, I can't write eighth because it said you you broadcast an illegal substance. Mm. Mm. Let me try to go live right now. Well, it what the the, the the going live? Then like, they know the, they know the slang and shit too, huh? I said they know the slang. They know that the eighth is weed. I don't know, bro. <laughs> I have no clue, bro. And that's what confuses me is that how do you know the eighth is weed? But um, you could have been like the eighth. Magazine. I don't want to write eighth on it because they might delete my profile this time. But I do want to show you that I can't go live. You could have been like the eighth magazine of a series or some shit. I 
No, so that's what it's, it's Monday. So we restrict certain activities due to protect our community based on your use in this action. It will be unavailable for you until 2020. November 2nd. Tell us what you think if we made a mistake. I don't that's, care about going live, so I don't care. That's Tuesday? Yeah. No. But this happened for a week. That's, I'm sorry. What? So you, we use on live promoting AIDS. That's crazy. You was on live promoting AIDS? No, I was in the story promoting AIDS. Oh. <laughs> so that means somebody reported you? No, Instagram is the fucking police. Oh. At this point, and it's just like, I don't know, bro. But, yo, it feel good to be back podcasting. Like, like it feel yes. like a conversation between me and you, but yeah. it's unf- like, like I think, I think I stuck by what I said. Like, I just went in the unfiltered section. Like, it just feel good, bro. I just wish Chick would have made it. It would have felt good that um, nuance and all this shit just getting back together. Did somebody tell you that you was filtered? Like, where you getting that from? I felt like I felt like I was being brevy proper and not me on the podcast. Like I talk and I just be like trying to not offend people, but I'm just, I don't sp- I I feel like I don't speak ghetto and hood on the podcast sometimes. So you wanna you say you wanna offend people? <laughs> yeah, because it's my truth. Not no, I'm not saying I don't want I don't want to go out my way to critique a specific person and offend them. But I want to mm, say some bro. shit that's probably controversial and some people, oh, okay. niggas saying. and 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 people. It, it might be two sides on what I say. I see you're saying. Okay, you know what I'm saying. And I felt I played, I tread lightly when it was a podcast before because it's just I, I had bigger plans for it. But I have to understand that, Corey, you got to be you because that's what everybody love. Everybody love you for okay, you. Yeah. And it's like I can't tread lightly no more. Not that I'm gonna get on here and bash anybody specifically. It's just that I gotta talk how I talk to y'all. When we have regular conversations, because that's what niggas come for. Niggas don't come for the proper shit. Niggas don't come for niggas don't fuck with the podcast for proper shit. Niggas for come to hear our perspectives as men on how we think about things, even if we wrong or ignorant, being ignorant. That's what niggas come for. And I just felt like me as as the I just have to do that, bro. I just I had to go there. Okay, so that's that's. I just feel like today I really displayed it. It was like it was like at one point you was asking me so many questions that I blanked out and forgot that it was a mic here. <laughs> it was like me and you talking over the phone, mm. and I just felt like I displayed that. Oh, glad you got that shit out. That ass. Take this shit to the next level. I'm watching time is nine fifty six, but I don't know how niggas long niggas don't let me I let it go. But go ahead. Oh, I'm gonna say you gonna close it out. I ain't gonna do. No, 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 no. I'm gonna close it out when you come in. Uh, um. I think that's so much shit. Let me see. I really don't even have no more. I got... This is a bigger conversation about... Um, I think we could talk, we talk about this on the next podcast. Black men not supporting black women. Oh, kind of broke man make a woman happy in a relationship. I got... Oh, I got to ask you this question before we get on it. This is my... Can you fuck a chick while her brother home? Like, in the, in the house. In the house? Yeah. Yeah, I did that. You could fuck a girl <laughs> while her brother is home. Mm-hmm. Me and him was cool though. So you mean like? No, 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 no. A nigga you don't know. Oh, but I mean, I didn't know him the first time. Um, how you cool with this nigga? He was younger though, I guess. Maybe no, I, was... I mean around your age. Yeah, I'm saying he wasn't around my age. He wasn't that much younger, but he was just her little brother. You could fuck a chick while her brother is dead. Yeah. Like, he playing PS5, and he's saying, it won, nigga! You could fuck his sister in the next I room. I mean, it's like... <laughs> yeah, if anything, fuck I would want to do it more, bro. honestly. Huh? <laughs> if I would want to do it more, low-key. What? Just you a like... sicko, bro. <laughs> like, I don't know how you're going to be acting to this shit, but... Mm. You could fuck... I can't fuck a chick while her brother did. Yeah. Maybe. It depends. All right, he, set up he... the rooms. He downstairs, you upstairs. I can do it like that. Like he can, know, he know what I'm doing. Right? Next he room, be, yes. You know what the fuck, bro? No, no, no. It won't even be. So I, you got a sister? <clears throat> yeah. You could listen to your sister again. No hell no. So why can't you do this in my own? Because you think I don't he think used to it? Way. I just don't think that way. <laughs> like, this is me time. <laughs> I'm not thinking about Yo, it. Yo, you are like... a fucking sicko, bro. <laughs> what? Like a thing about what you hearing, I'm fucking like, no, that's not my mom. 
I can't do it. My concern ain't there. It's like, nah. I can't do it. You got to deal with this, brother. Nigga playing wild Fortnite. <laughs> but he like 25, and it's like, you splashing yeah. his sister. And banging on the walls and all of that. You purposely banging on the <laughs> Yo, walls? My, my fault. Like, <laughs> you wildin', bro. You a sicko, bro. I can't fuck a chick while her brother did. Damn, this, I, like, especially what if you're not even supposed to be there? What if you just being there to be petty after she told him to leave? Because if she bring you there, he obviously must not care. The dick can't stay harder with a male voice around. Like, oh, is he saying if you hear him, you want to? Yeah, I'm like, Phew. that's it. Yeah. <laughs> so if you say M one, like, oh man. Yeah, it might, it might, it might, it might, it might. They might not stay hard if he yell M one. <laughs> Nigga playing Wild 2K in the next room. He and one, yo, yo, guard him, guard him. <laughs> and you, I can't stay hard through that. I see a point. Damn. Yeah, like, I don't want to hear his voice. <laughs> if he quiet, maybe I could do it. But, like, but you can't play music? Wait, just play some music. John, that shit out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I can <laughs> fuck a girl while I brother there if music is involved. Right, yes, that's yes, that's yes, yes. That's shit. I can't, no. Unless he playing music too and it's louder. Yeah, do that. Yeah. I can fuck with that. Oh, okay. He playing Wild Future. <laughs> yeah, I can do that. I can do that. I can't just do it just to do it, though. There got to be a reason behind it. Like, is I'm my dad desperate for the vagina? So my sister, that don't matter? Sister don't matter because it's... No. Cause Mom, it's not. father. I'm not doing why they father. Father, yeah, I don't. You can fuck a chick while I follow the US. You are, yeah, that's like US that's some dangerous US. shit. You gotta be into some freaky shit to do that. You could get. What about the neck? Yeah, no, yeah, definitely. I have to. Like, <laughs> like out of respect. Like, I know I can't do this in your house, so I can at least I deserve this. Yeah. Right. Can you do the like, what about what are the brothers inconsistently out the room? <laughs> like like you, you can hear the footsteps. You ever been to somebody's house? You can hear the footsteps. Yeah, that's facts. I like those. Those are quick for me. Cause I, I react better that way. Like my shit is like I right, they're in it fast. What you got a nut button? <laughs> facts. Like sometimes. And you if, just, so, if, if somebody's gonna, if I know somebody's gonna be in there, and I only got a certain amount of time, my brain sends it. You get excited about the thrill of not doing something you're not supposed to be doing. Facts. And you, oh. So the hiding, I, I came already you tight. So when they come in. Whatever he come in for and consistently. You oh, consistently was, yeah, you bro. nuts, bro. <laughs> I don't know, bro. Cause when I'm taking a shit and niggas is keep moving back and forth, it bothers me. <laughs> like focus. people keep walking. <laughs> you can't focus? No, I can't focus. <laughs> you had never ran your your hand in hot in cold water? To help me shit? No. Yeah, to help you shit just no, to help you focus fuck? and just blank out from everybody. <laughs> what the fuck? No? But go on what it makes you focus. Yeah. Man, it helped ease it out. You won't even know who, it came out. Who told you that? Somebody told you that? How you no, know? I just tried it. And then I just like, seen it. Was, shit, it wasn't you just... No, it was just a common... I seen that it was a common thing. Like, in forums and shit. I, I was like, oh, I'm not the only one. <laughs> you feel like an outcast? Do you ever shit at somebody house you wasn't supposed to shit at and the shit get stopped? So it gets stopped. Dude will be floating in the water. Oh, my, my dear. <laughs> Yeah, How you get out that situation? I tried to fix that. It took like an hour trying to fix it. <laughs> fix but that ain't that even worse because you like I like when you, you know, when you shit at people house, you not just watch them be shitting at you think it had they already point you in the time limit yeah, to see if you take it. Shit. Certain time. But then you gotta just play it off like damn like bro, my hand that water is mad hot. <laughs> like you gotta <laughs> Yo <laughs> <laughs> You gotta come up with a story fast, like yo, damn, I can't even I lost in your house. How big is this shit? Like Yo, what's up with the bathroom? This nigga here, bro. That's my responsibility. Not tell me that though. Like, tell me that before I get there. Tell you what? Like, that your fucking plumbing is fucked up. Like, don't have me going while it. And then you're like, oh yeah, by the way. I was just in one of those type of situations. They plumbing is fucked up. But I had to take it. Shit, I'm a vegan, so I'm eating all that fake ass cheese. But it still made me go to the bathroom, <laughs> and I had to shit. And I'm like, yo, I shit it, and the shit was just flowing in the top. Like I'm not gonna flush this shit. <laughs> then niggas came back and said that the um the Airbnb owner that the toilets is already fucked. Like, 
So I'm like, yo, bro, I did some surgical shit. I left the lid on the fucking toilet and flushed it manually. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, the, um, the shit with the, the cap. The yes, cap I did thing. that to make yeah. the shit go down. But I thought I was doing something. My dumb ass raised the water in the toilet with the shit in it. Yeah, I'm going to say that. <laughs> and I'm like, yo, if this shit. shit don't go down, this is going to be embarrassing. <laughs> I had to like be in the shower and take a shower for extra long to make sure the shit go down. <laughs> so I was in that motherfucker using peppermint soap for a while long. I done got every spot on my body with peppermint soap, bro. <laughs> you know, dead ass. Where's the mommy? <laughs> Where's the mommy? Dead ass. Um, damn, that's crazy. I guess we don't have nothing else. I guess no, I think that's it. I that's it. I guess we got into this week. Ten oh four. All these niggas was fighting. Sure. It says Florida and Missouri bro at half. Which sport is that? Was it Saturday? Yeah, yeah. why is niggas fighting? Uh-huh. Football. Uh-huh. Niggas fighting. Um yo. Damn, I gotta to have We gotta I guess in the future I guess we gotta have Laptops and shit You know what I'm saying It's a uh, um, Damn, what happens You have a laptop? None of my own Yeah What episode is this? This is episode 64 64? Yes Cause it's a high 80s Last episode I posted was in May 8th May so 8th? For me, yeah. Not for you. Because some of these episodes y'all not on. A lot of these are Zooms. Oh, I want to say that's man recent. Okay. Um. Oh, the Zoom shit. This is episode 64 of the Core Cash Podcast, and niggas is gone. We out of here. Oh, shit. That was a Zoom podcast? What? The one that you did before in May. Yeah. That's where the battle rap.